I don't know if it's just for the console community, Kingy, and as far as I play a lot of vanilla myself, you know, I, I do play modded sometimes, but even this server doesn't have that many modded weapons on it. It's more about the map than it is the guns, you know. I, I like new guns added to vanilla because I play quite a lot of vanilla, but it's not so big for most PC players. I guess that's true. My guess is they're still on the roof. Crossbow would be great in vanilla. I hope they add it. Hello? 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 Oh, for fuck's sake! He's still overwatching, for, overwatching it from afar. Fuck me dead. He's out in the tree line to the side. That it's just sucks. Right, we're going to have to go a different Finally, way. I don't want to go there. Is working again. I, I think these new spawns... I, I, I've ran back there anyway. I would have wanted to run back there. But these new spawns are... It's really fun. It allows for three kills against people with a crossbow. But it's not... Mate, it doesn't... It's not very exploratory. Oh, fucking hell. I need to go over the eastern side and do a different loot route now. I'm not going back again. I, I'm, I'm more than happy with how today's gone. It's been fucking brilliant, right? And what, a, what a result there, look. Brilliant start, but... Banov has... It's, it's made Banov feel like Essica. The spawns aren't good. The spawns just aren't good. I'm trying not to ruin his helmet, but this isn't working, is it? Fuck me. Uh, I was trying not to ruin his helmet, and that wasn't a smart move. But anyway... Yeah, the, the spawns, as they've changed, have kind of made the map feel like it's about a third of the size, which is good, I guess, if you want action, but if you want to get a start and explore and play the game a bit like it's Chernerus, it's like, it doesn't work very well. Capita, well, the plate carrier won't get ruined like the helmet would, but it, it doesn't really make any difference. When you're meleeing the zombies, they die pretty quick. The reality is I'm more concerned about talking about what I'm talking about than I am the zombie. Yeah, I don't. You can't punch it to ruin distant. I just didn't want to punch it to uh, to anything other than pristine. Well, we don't know those guys were camping, by the way. They ca they turned up after the shots, you know. So they might have come up to see what I had. And then uh, gone back down, or maybe they were just camped on the tree line waiting for the for the players to run back. They might have been. Singularity sell ammo, fucking hell. This is a powerful little corner. But yeah, uh, aside from that, like running back, I had to go back and get on the roof straight away. I needed the food, so I kind of, I kind of had to go and give it a try, and it didn't pan out, and these things happened. But I think Banov has. You made Daryl from The Walking Dead look like a noob. <laughs> well, thank you. Banoff has made, been made a touch worse, in my opinion, by the change in the spawns. I think it's... Uh, it, it's... Well, well, I might be wrong. It's just a lot like Namalsk, in a way. It's impossible to get out of the spawn zones. But when you do get out of the spawn zones, there's hardly anyone, any, anyone anywhere else. <laughs> Where would this zombie have gone? Hello? I need your fucking plate carrier. They tra no, there we go. They travel quite a distance when you uh, when you kill them. Sorry, when you go on con. What is that over there? Really don't want to lose all my use all my bandages. What the fuck's that? He had everything, didn't he? Not entirely sure where we are, to be honest, but we'll work it out. 
Oh, I think this is Biscopis, isn't it? That's where we are. This 5.7 pistol is pretty cool. Uh, Hullhawk, uh, you made Daryl look like, from The Walking Dead, look like a noob. Well, dude, thank you. I certainly looked like a noob when I was trying to kill the zombie, though. But that was fun. That, I really enjoyed that little encounter. It's one of those things, it's like a double-edged sword, because if they hadn't changed the spawns, I wouldn't be getting the three kills with the crossbow. Which is really fun, and it was a, like, a really cool encounter, and worth dying for a couple of times, you know, it's fine. But, uh, equally... It's going to make the map so narrow. I don't know if it's actually a good thing for the game or not, for this map. It's going to make the, the big town on the east that's got, like, the Novo Tower. That town's going to be dead as a dodo now. No one's going to go there. Because it's a little bit, like I was saying before, if you spawn every time in Berezino and you can't spawn anywhere else, you're never going to go to Cherno, are you? You're just not going to do it. And that's kind of the same kind of thing. I think that town will be, like, dead. I'm with my glasses, I'm just trying to quickly fix them, but they're like a bit uncomfortable underneath my uh, headphones for some reason. They're not normally. That last death was totally your fault. Distant Demon, well, I'm running back to try and lift some loot up. You know, it's a gamble, but when you run back as a new spawn, that's what you do. I'm not apportioning blame for the death. I'm talking about the game in general. I also talked about it yesterday. Uh, there's like three little towns on the southwest and nearly every spawn is there. It's just a bit dull, you know. It'd be like if every time you ever spawned in Chernarus, you only ever spawned between Kamishovo and Three Valleys and nowhere else. That wouldn't work, would it? It doesn't work for this either. <sighs> I'm not really talking about the death. I'm not really worried at all about the death. The death is fine. Uh, I went there and gambled trying to get some loot back, and they were still in the tree line outside. To be fair, though, dude, you wouldn't expect them to be there. They were still camping for people coming back. You really wouldn't expect that. They killed someone on the roof. You'd expect them to come and loot the roof. It, it's rare. I, when we're not in... That's not like the Northwest Airfield or something. It's just a fairly shitty prison with... Like, middle to lower tiered players going through, you know? If they're properly geared with sniper rifles, which you kind of have to assume they are, then you wouldn't expect them to stay 100 metres away camping the roof, you know? You'd expect them to come up, check the roof, take some loot, and then fuck off to the airfield or something, you know? Well, they didn't shout anything out because they weren't anywhere near the, near the prison. They were still in the trees to the to the uh, well, whatever side it would be, the side where I first saw them. Anyway, it's not a Bible. No, it's the uh, octopus spunk. Bumblebee, thank you for the fourteen months. That's very very kind. Have as a gawky bar on me. Keep winning. I'll do my best, dude. Thank you. Grumpy, I don't want to go back. I, I don't really care. It, it, I could get a spawn nearby. I could get better there in 10 minutes. But that's the thing that happens Another when you make the spawns all close together. You know, It creates like a clusterfuck of that. I, I don't want to play that game for the next two hours. I want to get a start. Get We're, we're in Biscopis. We'll, we'll get through this side. We'll try and get to Banoff. And try and like get into the game and have an adventure. D Daisy's as much about adventure and like plotting a route as it is about out and out pvp you know and as much as it was fun to get the kills with a crossbow if i run back get shot run back get shot run back the, the loot's gone you know i've wasted two hours and it's not actually any fun you know i've, I've had my go Being and it didn't work you out on you know? YT is 2017 still love your stuff keep on running i just i, I don't want to do it you know because that sort of circle jerk is like daisy from 2014 you know you'd There'd be a dude in an Electro with an M4, and you'd try and kill him with an axe, and then you'd loot a pistol, and you'd try and kill him with a pistol. And then you'd go back, and he'd be dead, and it'd be someone else with his M4, and you'd spend about three hours trying to get it. And then you'd finally get the M4, when it had like four bullets left and nothing else, and all the other loot had gradually eroded away. And then as you were leaving the town, somebody would kill you with a shotgun or something. <laughs> That's like old school day. I, I much prefer Daisy, the survival adventure game that it is now, you know. I'd, I'd much rather play that.
I'd rather just uh, draw a line through it and think, fuck that, I'm only wasting my time. Let's just start afresh and have another go somewhere else. Oh, exactly. I, it did work out. I got shot in the back almost certainly by them. And then I managed to kill that squad. I'm pretty sure it was that squad that killed me. And I'm, I'm loosely basing it on the fact that they had chicken on them, you know, and I, I had a chicken on me. But uh, there wasn't that many people with guns in the area and they were about where you'd expect them to be. So, yeah, I, I think it was probably them that killed me, and I'm glad that we uh, we got them, if that's the case. It can be really fun to do that, you know, like trying to get some kills, and then if you die, running back. and It can be really fun, but it can also take hours, and then at the end of those hours, you've not got any loot, and you've not achieved anything other than staying in the same little quarter of the map, you know. I, I think we're doing the right thing. Alti, I, I don't even know what house it was, but we'll just leave it. I, I missed it, so... I, I missed it, you know. By the time I've read next to that house, I've probably met, ran on three houses since then, you know. I don't know which one it was. There's a bear trap by the front door. Got blaze rounds there, that's cool. from the bear trap. Thanks for all the entertainment. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Slice them up, dude. Thank you very much. My guess is that that dude had set the trap and he was watching me to see if I'd go in there or not.
<sighs> I can't believe how geared we are for where we're at. wasted all my shots. Where did he go then? He's in there. Please tell me you've got... Oh, okay. We may well be getting the blood on us, but we'll see how we go. It's time to start running! Cheers to the King of Days. Keep running. Actually got quite a lot of loot. He's put some effort in. Oh, those were disinfected. Oh, he's got that. That's like, that's good then. No wonder I didn't have any fucking stamina. If we do get sick, I've got the ability to fix it with the uh, with the alcohol. Christ, he's trying to make a fucking killie. Okay, uh, we'll drop you. Okay, time to go. I had alcohol tincture anyway. Right, I think we'd best get out of here. We've outstayed our welcome in Biscuit Piss. We've, we've got our little upgrade. I did, I think I hit him twice, by the way, with the, uh, the pistol. I think shot's number one. One definitely hit. I think shot number two maybe hit as well, but... So shot number three definitely didn't hit. Oh, God. Uh, Fearful Cobra, thank you very much for the support. That's really, really kind. Thank you very much. Cheers for the uh, gifted sub, dude. Thank you. Scar, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, Sleeper, thank you for the nine months. Uh, cheers to the King of Daisy. Blimey. Uh, thank you. Uh, I nearly said my liege, but I guess that makes it me. But anyway, thank you. <laughs> Slice them up. Thanks a lot. Uh, once again, Bo K6, thank you for the six months. Pat the Pack Captain, Schmickelman, uh, thank you very much. Another month we're getting old. I know, holy shit. 
thanks a lot for the support, all of you guys. OG Pudding Cup, thank you for the follow, as well as uh, Stopak. Hullhawk, thank you for the bits. And, and Tinks, thank you for the resub as well. And I think I'm up to date. Cheers for the support, guys. Very, very kind. Right, now, one thing we do know, this is Banov up ahead. Banov is a clusterfuck of pain and misery at the moment, so we don't want to be staying there too long either. The knuckle dusters are amazing. When he stood there with his knife, I knew I had him, you know. I knew I had him. Knuckle dusters are better than a knife. I knew I was going to be bleeding a lot, but it's funny how much goes through your mind while you're in it, but I was like, just stand there and trade with him. It'll be okay. Knuckle dusters beats knife, and he'll have bandages on him as well, you know. I, I just, I, that thought crossed my mind while I was killing him, you know. It's like, this is okay. This is fine. Don't worry. All is well. <laughs> it's kind of weird what goes through your mind while you're still doing stuffs. It does indeed equal that neuro. Rock beats scissors and knuckle dusters beats my shit. Never beat your shit with knuckle dusters. Inside the mind of the of a murderer. Well, I was actually thinking about what I was going to have for breakfast the next day. <laughs> Banov's got great loot if you can get away from the spawn areas, Grumpy, but it's not so easy to do at times. Hopefully we'll do it today. We didn't do it yesterday in like five hours, but we did get stuck in a circle jerk of pain in Banov City. I ain't getting stuck in that pain today. I did get killed a few times, so I'm, I'm a little bit eager not to... S I'm not going to drink at the wells and things, I don't think. I think we're going to try and get away. You are the food serial killer. Mm. I'm feeling rather peckish right now. I've had uh, I've had jacket potatoes for for lunch. Two of them, one fairly big and one fairly medium. Right. So I've had quite a lot, really. I think that was quite a lot for lunch. I'm fucking starving. I shouldn't be, but I am. Fearful Cobra, thank you for gifting Trillich, Trillich the sub. Trillich the sub once again. We found some really good loot in this little thing we're coming up to here the other day. Yesterday I found an SKS and a UMP in this little shed here. Today it's a 1911 with no mag, which is not so good. Will I take that? Let's plan ahead. I'm definitely going to find a gun for that. Deadly swords, yeah. Well, I've been KOS'd a lot. It, it depends what your class is a, f a freshie as well, you know. That guy certainly wasn't a freshie compared to me, even though I've got like a stab, uh, sorry, a plate carrier, you know. But it depends on your definition of a freshie to some extent. But I think, I think since Nemaus came out and Essica, I think people have been a lot more conditioned to get away from new spawn areas and kill people that look like they might be trouble. And trouble can come in all shapes and sizes. Trouble is a pair of knuckle dusters or a sledgehammer, you know, it doesn't have to be like Action Man. I think Essica in particular did make people a little less friendly and a little more shooty. Bo, thank you very much. That was a lot of fun, that event. Now, I reckon we might uh, we might get ourselves a, a, a sneaky blaze coming up, you know. I think there's a distinct possibility of that. Devace, well, I don't, I don't know what you call a big lunch, but some days I don't have a lot. I don't eat a lot for breakfast. I had a nut bar for breakfast. I've been out for a walk that was an hour and 15 minutes long, you know. I've been been fairly active this morning. It might only be a walk, but I did I did walk, like, double quick. I was properly route marching today. Uh, because I, I kind of didn't quite have enough time to do the walk I wanted to do. So instead of doing a shorter one, I just walked quicker and hoped. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've, I've burnt the calories a little, well, certainly for me anyway, but... I've got two bowls, I think we'll keep those. Yeah, I I don't know, I jacket potatoes with... Let I had I had jacket potatoes with some lettuce and uh, prawn mayonnaise, or shrimp mayonnaise, if, if that's what you say where you're from. 
Which some people in other places would be like, what? But yeah, that's kind of common over here. It's good. And I also am eating a lot more healthily at the moment. So I've, I've in the last, uh, I don't know, 10 or 11 days, I've probably lost six pounds. Uh, so even though I've had a reasonably good lunch, I'm still, I don't know, eating less than I was doing two weeks ago. Jonas, yeah, I don't want to run. I've got really, really kind of weird Pez Cavus horrible feet. They're not horrible, but they have like hobbit feet. And a lot of my foot doesn't actually touch the, the shoe when I'm wearing it or the ground or whatever. Uh, and you can get inserts and whatnot, but I've seen a foot dude. And yeah, basically walking works really well for me, my feet and my knees and running would not. Yeah, it's not just, yeah, it's high arches, but beyond that, Regan. Pez Cavus is like... Like high arches, you can just put an insert in, and you could. I can for these as well, but they, like, only the ball of my foot and the heel of my foot touch the ground. The middle bit of my foot, not any of it, not even the bit on the edge. You know, none of it touches the ground. If I'm standing barefoot, right? It, it's just it's beyond just a high arch kind of thing. But yeah, anyway, it's it's fine. It, it's it causes me some issues, but that's why I'm walking. Are you betraying your favourite sandwich dealer? Well, Botty, I, I've not been there since last August. The last time I went in there, I said to him, you might not see me anymore, I'm afraid. I'm being tested for celiac disease, and if I haven't got that, I'm pretty sure I'll be uh, gluten intolerant anyway, because I definitely have something, so no more bread. And he said, well, you can have a jacket potato. And I was like, you're right, I can, but I can definitely make that from home better than you can, <laughs> or at least as well as you can. And like, the sandwiches, they were just great. The little the French bread that he had, the baguette was really good that his sandwiches were great and seemed worth three quid but paying for a jacket potato doesn't seem worth it somehow in my stupid brain so I've never been back since poor guy I was one of his best customers Ark, Ark Vossa that sucks dude he was a nice dude as well but there we are did I tell him love you bye no I didn't I said, never mind, eh? It saved me some money. <laughs> uh, Bo K6, dude, thank you so much. It's took me a few minutes to get there, but dude, that's insanely kind. Thank you for the gifted sub on 10 subs as well. That's very, very kind, man. Thank you. Nabberman on tour, thank you for the three months. Uh, cheers for the silver badge resub. And Age Fresh, thank you for the 15 months as well. Also, Pawn Chef, Not a Batman, and uh, CJ Ebka. Thank you for the follows. I, I'm with you with that, Gene. I'd say, I've, I've extolled the virtues of that ethos and suggested people don't go to shitty Starbucks but go to their little independent place all the time, you know, but I can't go to either. No bueno. Worked in boots, yeah. It's, it's funny, actually, that like if you're in retail and you're on your feet all the time, people, you'd be surprised, but it really, really does affect your feet, doesn't it? I had a few, when I used to work in Comet, and it wasn't a particularly strenuous job, but Comet was like, uh, for Americans it was like a Best Buy, and for people that aren't that old it was like Curry's in the UK. And it's only been gone, I don't know, 10 years or so, but anyway, they were that kind of company. And you would basically, you, you, were, you might have to put out some new stock here and there and put out a few display models, but most of the time you were there to serve customers, so you were standing around, like, in your area to serve customers. And the amount of people that we took on, I remember taking on a dude who had spent all his life doing different jobs, and he was about 40, and he came just to do a, like a temporary job at Christmas. And he left after three days because he was literally hobbling out the store. He couldn't do it. He just couldn't stand on his feet for 10 hours or 9 hours or whatever it was. Which sounds really simple until you do it. And, and it's not, again, it's not like digging roads or it's not like being in the army or whatever, but... Almost like walking around is easier to do than standing and waiting. It's just dull as fuck and it really hurts your feet. I'm not surprised Best Buy is barely hanging on. You know, everybody uses Amazon or whatever else alternative there are, aren't you? Yeah, you, you never see a you never see a plump to posty, do you, Sackville? You should call yourself Sackful. Like get some posty connotations with your. Uh, Sack full baggins is. What, for Comet? I don't remember the store code. 
I, I worked in Comet Braintree and Colchester as uh, I, I was like assistant manager. I can't remember the store code though. It's it's a while ago since I was there. You know, like after I left Comet, I spent nearly three years in Asda and then nearly five years somewhere else. Somewhere else, and I've been doing this for six years. So, so this for six, the other job for five, that's eleven. Then Asda for three. I haven't worked at Comet for nearly fifteen years. <laughs> it's quite a while ago when you think about it. You know, crazy. Holy fuck, I'm old. See a gun? Oh, I thought I saw a gun. It's just a long line of shit. Damn it. I got all excited for a gun. Guns, guns. Guns, guns, guns. I'm looking for a good time. Oh, come on, you fuck. Why do you have to play me like that? Go there. I don't like that. I don't like the red ones. I'm actually going to go back and check this uh, med room over here. The medical. I want to check the medical, see if I can find myself a, uh, a bandage or two. Any practical advantage from the, the glasses? Yes, it removes the sun rays. That's the big advantage. If you're like facing into the sun and you're wanting to spot players, like if the sun's kind of low and there's like a tree line or whatever, you're going to get loads and loads of god rays. If you've got the glasses on, you don't get the god rays and you can actually see and spot players much more easily. It really helps. Aside from that, it's just more comfortable to play like all the time, you know. Get herself a proper cup or glass of your favourite adult beverage, TRMZ Whiskey Mance Wildmer 6 thumbs up. Ah, oh, Bo, I will do my best to do that, I will. I'm trying to drink a little bit less at the moment, but I will do, nonetheless, don't rest assured. I've only got one bottle of whis whiskey, not whiskey, whiskey in the house, and it's a fancy bottle that the mods and some of the stream team members sent me. Uh, so I have, I've only had, like, two two little glasses of that so far. I've been drink the slowest I've ever drunk any whiskey ever, but I am due to buy another bottle, really. I'm not fishing for tips, by the way, guys. I've got the money to buy the whiskey. No one needs to send me a tip, right? Don't worry about that. But I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to hold off. For some reason with me as well, like, whiskey feels a little bit more of a wintry drink, you know. Late at night, it's cold, you have a little snifter. Whereas in the summer, it's it's just not quite the same somehow. What's my favourite whiskey at a reasonable reasonable price? I'd probably be, be picking between Balvini Double Wood and, uh... Redbreast 12 year. And if I had to pick one, I'd pick the Redbreast. Redbreast is Irish. I mostly drink Scotch, but Redbreast is lovely. I really, really like it. Yeah, Loris, I, I, I had a forklift. Excuse me. I had a forklift truck license from working, like a counterbalance forklift. From working in a uh, garden centre, that was my first job after I finished my A levels. Uh, but when I left, they kept the license. They they paid for the course, but the fuckers wouldn't let me have the license. I guess I could have got another copy. But I just went and worked in another shop where I didn't need to be a forklift driver, so it didn't really matter. I used to enjoy driving the forklift, though. It was cool. I always looks slightly suspect. A good sweet whisk. The ones I just mentioned, hot tiramisu. If you want a, a really decent whiskey that's not like smoky or peaty, and you want to try whiskey to see if you like it, Balvini Double Wood is the the very best option to try. I'd say uh, it's not the cheapest though. You could get something like Glenmorangie for a little bit less money, but I'd go for that. Balvini Double Wood, definitely. I've tried that King Tut. I've tried I've tried a few different ones, but the the Double Wood's the one that really like. I've tried the Caribbean Cask as well, and. But the double wood was just the one I like the best, I think, for the money, you know. We really could take a punch, that one.
if you want smoky, it, it's kind of partly to do with how much money you want to spend, I suppose. But Lafroig is really good if if you if you don't want to spend like an arm and a leg. Lafroig is pretty good. It's very very powerful. Uh, what's the sixteen year old one that everybody buys? And the name escapes me right now. That's pretty good as well. Lagavulin, yeah, Lagavulin. Yeah, I've had like a Voodlin a few times. That That's pretty solid. It obviously, as you can see, it's affected my memory. I can't remember its name, but... Uh, one I like as well, I, I quite like Bowmore. It's like a little bit of halvesy halvesy though, but... Bowmore has like a slight sherry sweetness, a little bit like a Speyside does, but it's got the smokiness like, say, Lefroy would have. Uh, so yeah, Bowmore's not bad as well. McKellen is good, but it's just so fucking expensive, you know? Like... If you want to get, like, a standard McKellen, you can get a really quite a fancy, uh, like, other whiskey for that, you know, like Glenfarclas, you know. I'd much rather buy a 15-year-old Glenfarclas for less money than a 12-year-old McKellen, you know. It, it is good, but you have to pay through the nose for it, you know, whereas I think you can, there's better value elsewhere. I don't actually have any Mosin rounds, do I? I've not really checked. I do, they're in a box. No, I don't. I'm going to drop that car radiator. I'm actually kind of surprised I'm still carrying it, to be honest. But Drop that. I'm going to take the pants, too. I don't particularly want to go to the airfield with no uh, with no guns. I might cut across to the town this way and just loot the town a little bit. Regan, I think that's the trouble. That's partly why I don't want to go to the airfield. Although, although people are likely to kill me at the airfield, whatever I look like. But I look like I'm completely fully fucking geared, don't I? And I've got some good bullets and I've got a good gun, but nothing that actually shoots, you know. Jonty, now I actually struggled a little bit last night to, to cal not calm myself down, but to, to not be so annoyed. I was a bit pissed off at the end of yesterday's stream. It was such a horrendous run. I was struggling a little bit. Oh, guys, I've got a phone call. Bear with me one second. Look, I'm just going to mute the whole stream. Though. It won't be long.
Sorry, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> you saw a player? Where? Front to back. <sighs> so where would he have gone then? Past me. I've still got to go this way anyway, I think. Oh, I want to go... Yeah, I want to cross, really, but anyway, let's go this way. Well, I'm glad I was... I must have been pretty well camoed then. Holy shit, with my... Uh, we are pretty well camoed, actually. Ran by Fieldside, but would he have been going to the big town, or would he have been going this way? That is cool. I'm, I'm glad that we... Uh, he ran towards the city, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Most of the action's at the city. It's very, very, very easily done. You'd be amazed, like, how easy that is to do. Especially in a tree like this. You, you don't spend... You, if you're looking anywhere, you're looking for players, like, you're not going to be looking for somebody prone. You could run literally over someone and not see them if you're not careful. Yeah, I don't. I can't go chasing after him, but it's just good to know that I'm running away from him right now. You know. Sorry guys, one sec. I am so fucking hungry. What is the matter with me today? Right, maybe we'll get lucky in this little hunting shop. That would be cool. I hardly ever come to this town actually. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice to be. I've had a little firefight here in the, in the past, but ooh, I've not seen one of those before. What is that? Piss uh, nine mil. <laughs> Which is sweeter, Balvini Doublewood? It, it's kind of tricky. The, the one thing about Redbreast is it's got a hell of a lot of punch. So it's kind of really strong with it. It's kind of hard to describe. I'm not some whiskey connoisseur, but if you're kind of starting out and you're wanting to try one that's sweet, I'd go Balvini. Redbreast is a little bit more... It's got a hell of a lot more punch to it, and it, like, it's kind of got more power behind it somehow. It's, it's really hard to describe. Like I say, I'm no fucking expert when it comes to describing them, but I, I, I think if you're starting out and you're wanting to try one of those, I think Balvini is definitely the one to go for. Honestly, if Balvini, if you're looking for something on the sweet side, and if Balvini's no good, then whiskey probably isn't any good full stop, you know. I've tried Cardu. It was all right. It was all right. I haven't tried it in a while, to be fair, though. I, probably the last time I tried it, I hadn't tried, like... Like, whiskey is something you... It takes you years to try them all, unless you're an absolute fucking alky, you know. So, I tried it when I didn't have much of a flavour... Like, didn't really know what I liked, you know. So, I, I thought it was alright, but that was years and years ago now, so... These aren't my bottles, so I think better safe than sorry. We'll, uh... Yeah, I think it's good that there's a proper wipe with 117. They, did, they didn't do with 116 or 15, and I thought they were going to, so it's nice they're doing one now. How many pistols am I carrying now? Not enough. Small bottles for testing, yeah. 
Fuck, where are you gone? I have to say, it was brave of him to be shooting with a pistol against uh, a plate carrier and a helmet. I tried to push out and rush him. I think it was the right choice, but... might be in there. He was shooting zombies, like, right where we are now. Oh. That zombie I trapped in there is still in there. Could he be in there? There's a door closed there. You know homo heart. Pick up another pistol. We haven't got enough pistols. <laughs> and the zombies kind of aggroed this way. It was aggroing across. I don't think he's gone very far. I might, he might have just fucked straight away, but fucked off. I bet, I bet he's in that house over there. He, I think he'll be hiding somewhere nearby. Yeah, probably not there. I did check a house like this, but it wasn't this one. Probably fucked off to the airfield, I'd have thought, but I don't know. I'm amazed I've not managed to find him. Like, he was having to shoot at the zombies.
congrats on winning the event. That was one of your best videos ever. I hope you do more of that when you get the chance. I absolutely will. If I get the chance to go long in an event, I absolutely will, you know. that That's the idea. Uh, Bunia, F Bunia, thank you very, very much. F Bunia, F Bunia, I don't know. Whichever it is, thank you. <laughs> Cheers for the kind words. Thank you for the resub. Freaking Deacon, thank you for the 12 months plat badge resub as well. Uh, starting to lose my bearings now. That's where we came from. I think he's fucked off to the airfield. I really do. Uh, freaking thank you again. Funnier, thank you for the gifted sub as well as you resub, dude. Thank you. And Viva La Peep. Viva La Peep. Thank you very much for the Twitch priming. Very, very kind as well, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the uh, for the new sub. Thank you for remembering to use your prime somewhere and for that somewhere being here. Thank you. I think we go to the airfield and just shoot anyone we see. That's the answer, isn't it? Is my jacket ruined? Yeah. going to leave that pistol. What? <laughs> well, I, I think the Glock is something I'll actually use. The 1911 kind of sucks. They're modded, wasted. Yeah, they're not in the vanilla game. Levi, yeah, I must have, uh, I must have lost me marbles or some shit, dude, dropping a gun, eh? I think he probably went over the bridge and fucked off to the airfield. I think that's what he's done. It's a shame, actually, because uh, I don't think he would have killed us. I think I, I could have had many tries there, unless he hit me in the head, maybe twice, with that pistol. He wasn't going to knock me unk on. He has badly damaged the, the thing. That's annoying, actually, but there we are. I think we were always going to win that little uh, tete-a-tete, I, sh I should think, but, yeah. Samrid, yeah, very solid advice. I'll have a little swig of my uh, squash right now. That last resort I dropped, eh, Uncle Food? The last resort with no mag and no bullets. <laughs> Suspicious ferret. I'm merely talking about Daisy. When it comes to mullering dudes with plate carriers and helmets, they suck. The event video is one of my best performing videos ever. Yeah, it's doing. Oh god, me be sick, aren't I? One of my best performing videos ever. Uh, I, I, I don't really want to talk down my YouTube channel. I'm very you know, proud of it, but I don't have like the hugest of channels. You know, it's, it is what it is, but. As YouTube goes, as the grand scheme of YouTube goes, it's not that big. But for Daisy, it's pretty decent. But it's got 92,400 views on my dashboard. The second best performing video in the last 10 at the exact same moment has got 80,100 views. So it, it's doing okay. It's like 10,000 plus more than the next one down. And to be fair, that one is way ahead of the next one after that as well. So yeah, it's doing solidly well. Tommy Steele, yeah, well, it, it's all part of my master plan, you know. It's all part of my master plan to sucker in everybody. <laughs> now, I like doing both. I, I really do despise editing. Editing is... And, and nobody, nobody, anyone... And a lot of people would say, oh, Twitch stream and playing a game and that's your job. It's fucking amazing. It is, and I'm very... I really love what I do and I'm grateful to do it. But uh, the reality is that everybody, no matter who you are, there'll be parts you don't like, and that's the part I don't like. I love getting the videos out, I love releasing them, but the, the worst day of content twattery I've had this year was Thursday last week. 
when I edited that video. It's the longest edited video I've ever done. And it took me 10 hours without any breaks and stopping at all, other than to go for a piss and make a cup of tea. Two or three times. Uh, 10 hours straight, not even time for any lunch, because I knew I had to get it done. Uh, and it's just really monotonous. It's just really monotonous and really dull. <clears throat> and I only have edit... Like, my edit day is Thursday. If I don't get the video done Thursday, I don't get the video done, so... Oh, well, cheers for checking it out, Extra Duty, dude. And everything that's on my YouTube channel has been on my Twitch channel, so if you're watching a lot of the Twitch, you might have seen some of it, but obviously some of it's like highlights, and some of it's like special moments, or funny moments, or whatever, and then some of it's like the best story of the week, or whatever, you know. But yeah, I, if you've seen it already, you're not going to want to necessarily watch it again, you know. I think our fella will have come this way. I was expecting to see dead zombies. a touch too many, I think. Scout, dude, thank you very much for the bits. I'll catch the message in, a, message in a second. Thank you very, very much, though, dude. Thank you. Just dropped a Glock, and now I've got the Glock Mac, for fuck's sake. Scout Snipe, thank you for the bits, like I say, once again, dude. Thank you. Uh, also, only final shot, Collins and Harold. Thank you for the follows. Uh, that's why it's cool as hell for Mr. Running Man's when he can get a good vid through through the week uh, to post with no editing. I hope you, you get more of those on Thursday. Scout Snipe, yeah, there's not one this Thursday. I've got one from last week where we were trying to get the alien gun. The one where I was talking about octopus spunk for the, for most of the day, you know. That is definitely an unedited video in the making. Oh, 5.7 mag as well. I would like to edit that. I really would. But I, uh... Sorry, I would like to upload that. I just, I just haven't had time to even think about it yet, so... Uh, uploading it doesn't take very long, but making the thumbnail and getting it ready takes a little bit of time. But I think that will eventually wind its way to YouTube anyway. Or find its way to YouTube, whatever. Edit more octopus spunk. You, you're right. I, I, I am. I am missing out. 
That was that was one of my favourite bits of the stream in the last few weeks. Actually, that that it, it, that kind of ridiculous conversation is fun. I, I enjoyed a lot of the bits of Monday stream that other people didn't like, where we were talking about a particular hot topic that was in the news. You know, I, I had a slappingly good time talking about that, but other people not so much. You know, but I enjoyed talking about the uh, the, the the press gang. The, the 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 hot topic of the day. Stud, dude, uh, when is the next session with TRZ and Tope? I, I don't know, Stud. I, I definitely intend to have one, by the way. Uh, I'm definitely uh, definitely keen on making that happen. One thing I'm not very good at is messaging people about collabs. I tend to just wait and see and then one turns up. So we've had collabs in the last few weeks. I've got uh, I've got one with uh, It's Zarge coming up next week. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I've not got much planned ahead of that. I've got Ariana at some point around Easter. But a lot of streamers are the same as me. We're, we're quite, uh, well, I'm certainly quite chilled out as to what collabs come when they come, you know. They just kind of roll along. There were five, seven bullets. Eggle for life, yeah. We we knew we chose. Well, uh, I say we chose partners, but the partners were like they they sort of chose each other, if you like. So, uh, what happens is you kind of say what day you were able to go in, and then there was a list of people that were in it. I'm not going to bother with that. And then you kind of team up with someone else that's in your half. Like I was in on the Sunday, Lottie was in on the Sunday, and so they uh, HB on the Saturday evening announced who was in what half. And I woke up Sunday morning and I've got a DM from Lottie saying I'm in the same half as you. Do you want to team up? And me and Lottie have really, really good comms when we play together in like PvP situations and whatnot. We always team, seem to do pretty well, you know. Uh, we have maybe a similar play style or we think a similar way or whatever. But uh, So when she asked, I was like, yeah, it's a no-brainer actually. Yeah, defo. Not real. I don't know. It depends when there is another one. I like that defending the title, though. It makes me feel like I'm like I don't know, like uh, like Rocky Balboa or something. Yo, Adrian. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, if there's another one and we're in the same day, yeah, I think we go for it again. Why not? But if I'm in the Sunday and she's in the Saturday or something, then no. Do you know what I mean? Like, just it, I'm I'm not going to sweat it too much, and she I'm sure she's not too. But if there's another one and we're both available, then yeah, why not? Yeah, and there is the other thing. She's got the superpower of hearing people from, like, miles away, you know. She can hear somebody's footsteps where in, like, three, they're three towns over. Meanwhile, somebody can literally run up to me and start hitting me in the face, and I didn't even know they were there until I'm, like, half dead. You probably did, Uncle Fu. <laughs> uh, Monkey Nuts, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for gifting Anarchy Goon uh, the sub. That's really kind. Thank you. Um, and, and also Hitman474. Thank you for gifting them as well, Monkey. 
Cheers for the support. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Stud, thanks for the bits as well. Mezek, I'm carrying stuff for reasons, though. It's just not very tidy. It's not so much rubbish. I, one man's trash is another man's treasure, but most of what I'm carrying doesn't feel like rubbish to me. And I'm carrying the NBC gear because I need it. I could probably get rid of that, but why bother? I can definitely get rid of that. Most of what I'm carrying... I can probably get rid of that and that, but... Most of what I'm carrying, is, is there's reasons behind it, you know? Yeah, Uncle Food, I think that's a fair assessment, you know. Macintosh, I'm, I'm not interested in talking about another streamer uh, in some kind of, like, dramatic way. I'm just not really bothered. Four sidearms. Uh, yep, that's the best pistol available. It's the very best pistol in this map, but I've got four bullets. That's like an amazingly good zombie killer and it's really commonly found. But I've only got nine bullets and it's damaged. Badly damaged. This one's got no bullets. It probably is the best zombie killer, but... What, dude, what, what is DayZ other than you carry all the different options until you can finally nail one down, you know? If I find three mags and a suppressor for a Glock, I can drop the other one. Or a lot of bullets, you know? If I find a mag for the MK2 and two boxes of bullets, I can drop the other ones, right? But right now, what will happen is I'll drop two... You, you're like, oh, you've got too many sidearms. I'll go like that, I'll go like that. And in the next thing, I'll find two boxes of 9 mil rounds and a mag. You know? It's just what Daisy is, you know? If you don't carry all the different options, then when you finally get the bullets you need, you don't have the option. You know, that, that's the game. 5.7 is a uh, modded handgun. It's not new. It's it's the best gun in, handgun in this server, I think, but it's not. It's modded. And if I had lots of bullets for one, I'd keep that one, but I don't. Miss Foster, exclamation settings. Hi hey Garrett, how you doing dude? We're doing alright. I'm uh, I'm doing pretty solid. I got a th I managed to kill a three-man squad with a crossbow earlier. Uh, unfortunately I died to a second party afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I got well I got two kills with a crossbow and they managed to get a shotgun from one of the dead guys for the third kill. But I may have got four kills with the crossbow but I'm not entirely sure. I'd need to check on the footage. I don't really know. There was an extra dead body, but and I hit somebody that I didn't think had dropped, so I don't know if they dropped or if they were... They might have been all standing together dropping loot to each other, or they might have been looting a dead body. I don't really know. Uh, my view distance is set... Approximately, Del. Uh, the view distance is set to... Like, the, there's two settings. There's, like, there's one for buildings and there's one for landscape kind of thing. I forget what they're called, but the, the longer one's 1500 and the short one's 1350, roughly. They were looting that body. So yeah, two kills with a crossbow, which is what I thought it was, and then a kill with a shotgun. I swear, girls, hope you're good. Thank you for coming in. Bitstein, I think you are allowed to... Bit, Bitstesson, sorry. You are allowed to lock people in, but they can soon punch their way out or something, you know, but... Oh. Go around this way. Well, I don't like the shotgun any day, really, to be honest, but... I killed a dude, and the only really viable gun he had was the shotgun, so I used that to kill his mate. item is that next to the brass knuckle it's a uh, singularity cannon ammo so this server has uh, a singularity cannon an alien gun and it, it is awesome but I haven't really had much of an opportunity to use it yet 
Uh, but that's the ammo. So if we if we manage to get a full NBC suit and a red and a blue key, which is my aim for today, is to try and get the cannon. We can have a go at doing that. The, the only time I've gotten it, I uh, got it in the middle of a minefield and didn't make it out. But yeah, it's a box. It's a box of uh, five cells of octospunk. Octospunk, uh, like up the wazoo. Woodsy, yeah, so far so good. It's been better, yeah. Garrett, thank you for gifting Hoogan Boomer the sub. That's nice to say, Hoogan Boomer. I think it would be better in a Scandinavian accent, Hoogan Boomer, but I'm not going to do it. GS Man, thank you very much for the bits as well, dude. That's very, very kind as well, man. Thank you. Cheers for the support, guys. You're very kind. Anxious Sheep, Frisco, Fainter Shark, and Jowies Gaming. Thank you for the follows. <laughs> One key, two key, red key, blue key. Hmm. One key, two key sounds like the name of, uh, like, a... Uh, a middle-in boss in Star Wars, you know, wonky tooky Boss, he's, he's, one, he's one of, like, Jabba the Hutt's, like, underling, like, cousins. Wonky... Uh, hello, uh, Prince wonky tooky <laughs> wonky tooky I like that. Hi, TRMZ. How's the stream going today? It's going better than yesterday so far. I mean, yesterday's was good in some ways, but horrendous in others. It's doing. We're doing all right. We've got some good kills with a crossbow. A brownie. If there's a more vanilla-ish server, then yes. But if not, no. I don't think what they've added is significant. So, I think Livonia is definitely going to get more so this year, and I'm looking forward to that. But I don't think this is the patch. I don't think this is the Livonia patch. This is like a. This is like a little bit of a, a tickle in your balls, like getting you ready for what's to come patch. It's not f with re with regards to uh, Livonia anyway, you know, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh no, yesterday was frustrating in the extreme in many ways, but the weird thing with Daisy is you can still have fun on those days sometimes. I, I was having fun right up to the point until I wasn't, you know. I think about halfway through the stream, when I just couldn't get a spawn near Banov, and it was just incredibly fr frustrating. I was, I was struggling to come to terms with things at the at that time. But once we got to Chernerus and we we changed tact, and uh, that it got better again. You know? uh, it will do, zombie. Yeah, it will. It'll, it'll do that. probably don't need to loot all of these, but one of these houses is going to have 9 mil rounds. Sorry, uh, Mosin rounds. And I'd like me some Mosin rounds. I'm a bit bored of looting these, to be honest, but I, I do need to put a bit of time in. This this route takes us to the overgrown military base, which is uh, a challenge. We got some really good kills there earlier in the week. Really good kills. It's actually several times in the last week to ten days we've been there and got really decent kills against really geared players, but uh, I don't really want to go there with a double barrel shotgun. On the way to it, yes, the, the other day, on Monday, we were arriving at the tunnel to come through the underground section, and I got Got two players with the blaze. That was cool. They're just like two shots, two deaths. That was very cool. JBR, I'm playing Banov today. I don't know what I 
think I'll check this bit. There could be something epically good there, couldn't there? Yeah, see? It, w it, was, it was worth looking. I could do with some... Uh, some epoxy putty or something to fix my vest with as well. It's, it's badly damaged after the pistol shooter wrist. The server's modded that you play normally. JBR, I, I play a mix of the two. Banov is a modded map, so it has to be a modded server. But my kind of favourite type of DayZ is vanilla or lightly modded. So the map is modded. It's not possible to play this on console or vanilla. It's, it has to be a modded map. Uh, but it's only lightly modded, so there's not that much change. There's a few tweaks, there's a couple of guns, uh, but yeah, it, it's still like full stamina. It's where you get servers with like trader bases and guns in nearly every building and uh, infinite stamina, that's like really heavily modded. Lightly modded is really not much different to vanilla in terms of the way it plays. And that tends to be what I play. I actually got a key off of one of the prison zombies the other day, so... Oh, fucking fuck. I'll sort that out in a minute. I don't really like that pistol compared to the Glock. It's good, but it's, it's not as good as the Glock. I'd prefer the Glock sights, basically. Uh... Yeah, I, uh, I prefer the Glock sight, so I'd rather go with that, but it's the, the Glock's kind of damaged and that one's not, so do you know what, I think I think the brown gloves match my outfit better. Let's keep the brown gloves. I'm of a certain age now where I can appreciate a nice brown, you know. I don't own any, any brown trousers, but it's not very far away. I can see it coming. A nice brown trouser, I, I can see it coming. A nice brown leather pair of shoes, very nice. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Socks and sandals. Uh, not quite to your standard yet, Wasted. Do you feel you're a better solo player than a team? Uh, not really, Beard King. I think I, I think I really enjoy solo. Uh, and I think I do it okay. But I, I, I don't know. I, I think better is... I, I, I like the variation. I... The reason I play solo so much is more to do with the stream than anything else. It, it allows me to put on a stream. If I'm constantly with other players, it becomes harder for me to talk to the chat, catch the alerts, interact to the level that I want to, you know. I'm quite an interactive streamer and I can't interact in the same way if I'm... Uh, if I'm playing with another player, you know. Like, we found that yesterday, you know. It was cool to bump into Ish and nice that we didn't kill each other and whatnot, but... If you've got three people in TeamSpeak or Discord, it becomes very, very hard to just play your regular game. And like, I can't. Every time I try and talk to you guys, somebody talks in the TS. It just it's a byproduct of it, and and it it changes the dynamic of the stream so much. So I I much prefer playing on my own <coughs> to stream more than the game. If I wasn't a streamer, I'd probably be playing with one or two other people all the time. You know, I wouldn't play my own so much. Obviously, I didn't need to drag all of that, but I did it anyway. Just talking away, but... Uh, it, it, with regards to teaming up, if, you t if you're teaming up, like if you're playing with someone and you're really comfortable with each other, you've played together a lot, uh, it can be really comfortable. A bit like the event that we had on Sunday, you know? We've, we and a lot have been playing together for, like, five years. It's not like we... It's not like that's the first time we ever teamed up, you know? Like... Uh, if you're comfortable in in a duo, it can be really easy. Like, it works really well. And if you've not played with someone so much, or maybe your play styles differ a little bit, then it can be a little bit more tricky, you know? Machete in the bag slot. Yeah, we could do that. I actually ought to drop that machete, really. <laughs> but better, I, I don't know. I think you can... Like, I can be playing solo and have really bad runs where I kept keep getting killed and I keep struggling and then I team up with someone and then there's somebody else to take some of the shots with me and someone else to have better eyes than me and maybe spot the players or whatever so it, it, yeah it, it, 
it's kind of not straightforward, is the honest truth. Yeah, there's a few people that I kind of gel with really well in stressful situations. Now, yesterday myself and Doc had a tiny little communication breakdown where he pushed and I didn't know what was going on, but his team speak had muted right at that moment, so he uh, he wasn't talking when he was maybe meaning to be talking, you know. So, but that, that's that; those things can happen. But like when I play with Lottie, when I play with Doc, when I play with Smoke as well, and some others too, to be fair. But some people you kind of gel with, and you can sort just sort of play. You both play your own game and they mash, you know, and, and sometimes it doesn't mash quite so well. But that doesn't mean you don't enjoy the team-ups, you know, that you can still have a really cool team-up with somebody else and have a good day. know why I'm aiming the gun. I'm just doing it on like autopilot really. Alright, that makes things a little bit more viable with the Makarov. Sorry, with the with the MK2. Damaged? Badly damaged. Okay, keep the mag, drop the gun. I'm disappointed we haven't found any Mosin rounds yet. I'm very surprised in fact that we haven't found any. That's a carbine, and I have a mag for that somewhere. But I don't think I'm going to bother. Maybe the mag was the previous life. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm not going to take it, so... Oh, have you done gravy? That's cool, dude. Yeah, that's cool. I hope it goes okay. Why is Grandma able to take such a such a large array of punches? I really love that hat. I'm going to check these. I don't check a lot of these because they're really pissy, but I think we'll check this one. We have got the Mosin mount uh, somewhere there. So if I can find one of the modded scopes, even one of the modded sniper scopes, I can use it on the Mosin. So, and any anywhere pretty much you can find those. They, they spawn in not just military places. Not just hunting places either, but... You sometimes find them on like a... You might get a pill ad on a sporter or something like that. What does the strange face cover do? Honestly, all it does is cover your face. That's all. It's nothing special. If you run the mouse, it will stop you getting frostbite, which is the, the most important thing it does. I think it won't repair it fully. I think it, it might only do half, but I don't know. It's a bit weird sometimes on these uh, this particular type of server, this 
server I'm on now. You have an epoxy party on one of these and you use it once and it uses the whole thing to repair it from badly damaged to damaged. I don't know if it will do it this time or not. Check the weapons for bullets. Yeah, I should be checking the Mosins. You're right. I still haven't got my head around that, Tony. There was a there was a brown Mosin just now, wasn't there? And I, I'm so not in the habit of actually checking them for bullets. You know, it it really is a bad habit of mine. That well, it's it's like a learnt behaviour, if you like, isn't it? I've been playing the game so long, no bullets spawn in the guns that now I'm not in the habit of checking. Where was the Mosin? There was one recently. I think there was another one as well, but let's check this one first. Brian Chucky, yeah, you can see them if you want to have a look. Exclamation settings. Is coming soon. PS, keep on running. I do play at 1440p though, which will have a little impact as well, you know. I always think the same thing about Happy Bombs' stream. I think Happy Bombs' stream, his game looks cleaner than mine. But he plays in 4K, so it might be to do with the resolution as well, you know. You're on 1440 as well. Very cool, man. Actually, I don't think I can carry any more shotgun shells. I don't even know why I picked those up, but there we are. I did. Garrett, thank you very much for gifting Loying this up. You're incredibly kind, Garrett, man. Thank you for the continued support. And Yobbery as well. Look, I've caught these nice and early, by the way, Garrett. Look, I'm on the ball today. <laughs> thank you very much for the support, dude. And Fatal Fainter Shark as well. That took two minutes. I'm still on the ball. Still on the ball. Don't worry. Uh, thank you very, very much. And uh, Breston, this second baby is coming. P.S. Keep on running. I'll do my best. Thank you very much for keeping on subbing, dude. Find fucking ghost bullets or what? I'm really sure that that second shot especially hit, but it's not the most accurate of pistols, so I guess it could have been just a wayward, uh, wayward bullet. Happy Bombs' stream looks better than your game on the monitor. <laughs> Three hundred, Garrett. Eh? Fucking hell, dude. Well, thank you. I remember when you were saying that rounds it off to two fifty or something a little while ago. You know, tickling on there you are, dude. Thank you. Oh, you're on two nine three. Oh, I see. Bucknut, thank you very much for the gifted subs. That's really really kind. Thank you. I missed number two hundred, did I? Still not over it. Oh dear. room for that? Yeah, I do. Bucknut, dude, thank you so much for the continued support. I hope you're well. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. I'm going to have to go for a piss in a minute, you know. I'm a little bit... Uh, I think the server might restart in three minutes, so I'll wait for then. I don't know if it does for sure or not, but I have a funny feeling it does, so I'll wait for then, see if it does. Any tips uh, for ev for everyone about the game? Fainter Shark, the standard thing I say is in that Nightbot post that Gravy shared. I used to say the same thing and that kind of summarises it. And honestly, that when you first start the game, set small goals, you know. Don't expect to be Toprek by tomorrow, you know. Small goals, enjoy the game, you know. Your first life, you're just trying to stay alive for an hour. After you played it a little bit, you're just trying to get to the Northwest Airfield on Chernarus, you know. Set small goals and enjoy the game. Don't worry about it, you know. Every hour you play is an hour more you're learning because it take. It's not particularly hard, Daisy, in many ways, but it's hard to get to grips on because it's such a big map, and you don't know what you're doing or where you're going. It can be hard at first, you know. What does the teddy bear do? It looks cute. The other thing it does is protect items. It's like a protector case, right? So the reason I picked the the the, uh, the bear up is not really for now. It's for uh, what I find next. If I find a suppressor for a gun that I can't use yet, you know, something like that. 
I've started finding myself pick. Oh, or maybe if I make a couple of bottle suppressors for um, for the Mosin as well. I uh, if you've got bottle suppressors and they're in your inventory, when you get hit by a zombie, they get ruined incredibly quickly. If you get hit and you're carrying most regular loot, nothing gets ruined, right? But if you've got suppressors in your inventory, they get ruined like like one or two hits from Zeds, they're gone. So I'm just carrying the teddy bear because I can keep a couple of bits inside it. I just thought it was worth picking up, you know. Maybe I can get the 3090 Ti. Has it been confirmed, Garrett? I know there was meant to be one coming, but I don't know. If, I don't know if it's it's out or not. A I, I, part of me is really thinking, just creep a little bit later and wait for the 40 series cards. But then, when the 40 series cards come out, you'll have to creep a little bit later to get a, a Ti version, and you can literally wait forever, you know. One year. What a great time it's been. Thank you, sir. Keep running. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Dat Vapor Doe. Dude, thank you for the support. You're insanely kind. Thank you. Did you? Mistakes. Very cool. And looking at the 30 series cards, I don't know how great the 90 Ti is. I've not even looked, but the 30 t 3080 Ti is so close to a 3090 that the 3090 seems like just massively overkill, you know? And it, and maybe if you're doing a lot of rendering and shit like I'm doing, perhaps it's a tiny bit more worth it for like other stuff, but for gaming, you know. But uh, so, some people always want to get the very best card, you know. Like what, they might have a, they might just be gaming, not streaming, or even making vids or whatever, and they want a 90 Ti or they want a whatever, you know. You can MV link the 3090 only. I don't know what MV link means. MV link, like have two of them, you mean? Fuck that. Uh, take, take it easy, Brownie. Have a good day. Right, the server's restarted, guys. I'm going to go for a wee and make a tea. I'll be back the other side of that. Won't be long.
three guys. I was way longer than that. I forgot to boil the kettle before I went for my piss that turned into a kettle. Came out, I had to boil the kettle. <sighs> You need to make a cup going for a wee and a tea. Now there's an idea. <laughs> Don't call me big nose. Sounds like Trigger's broom. Very nice, eh, crew? Oh, come on. Right, I'm in the queue. I, I have been a bit long, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what kind of sponsorship I'm getting. I, 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 I'll read you. I've just looked at my phone. This is the email I've got. It's, it's a sponsorship opportunity for me and, and my Twitch channel on YouTube. Dr. Serkan Agin won the European Awards in Medicine in 2019 thanks to his outstanding achievements and is thus considered one of the best specialists in hair transplantation and he wants to work with you. You seem like a middle-aged fucker that might be able to plug our plugs. <laughs> That's the email I've just, just looked at now. What would your collaboration look like? We will give you and your companion a one-week trip to Istanbul, the flights, the four-star hotel, the transfer, at a free hair transplant for you, your companion, or someone from your community, and uh, and more. All include extra free, and you you will get an extra budget. Blimey. A week's all-expenses-paid trip to Istanbul to have air plugs I don't need. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Is it transferable? I, I don't think it will be, noob. Sorry, I'd like to go to uh, I'd like to go to Istanbul. I think I'd be all right. Now I'm not sure I'd like to go to Istanbul with my missus, because she's a fucking shopper. You know, I go to Istanbul. I get stuck in fucking. I'll be standing outside of every shop ever while she's in there bartering. Be like it'd be like every day we ever go anywhere. I stand outside the shop while she says, "Oh, it'll just be five minutes," and then forty five minutes later she rolls out. No Constantinople. <laughs> She'll give me a nuts transplant. Well, I wouldn't be saying it, Acre, if I hadn't just seen that the doors, the, uh, the well, not the doors open, but the the inner door is open, which means she's gone out the front house. So she's she's out. She's probably shopping right now. Yeah, uh, gravy, uh, that, that is, uh, it wasn't as bad. I wasn't so bad in India. I took a very much uh, just just sort of nod and fucking carry on. Like, don't show any interest, don't look at the product. I, I looked at the person and kind of maybe smiled or nodded, but if you look at what's in their hands, they take it as some kind of interest as to what they wanted to sell. So I never looked at what they were selling and I just fucked off. <laughs> Always. Oh, I, uh, this, this Code Brown has cost me, hasn't it? I'm now... At least we know the server's full, that's positive. I did agree to India and I get to, to pick the next big trip, but I don't know if that will actually be the case or not. I'd like to go to San Francisco or Tokyo. But San Francisco seems easier because they don't speak Japanese there. We had a vacation that consisted of going back to the hotel to drop stuff off or to post or to the post office to send it home a mile high. Dude, I, I've not quite had it that bad, but I can feel your pain. <laughs> uh.
Text from Maggie. It's time to start. El Brando, uh, thank you very Hello much for there. the four months. Burger, tomato, e -maza, y -E -P. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. I'd like a burger tomato right now. Uh, Gastilli, Gastilli, thank you for the three months as well. Cheers for the support. Also, Biscuits and Garalian and Lil Curin, thank you for the follows. Still in position number one in the queue, guys. Nobody's leaving. It's almost like they only just joined. Well, that's why I want to go to, to there. More, more so the Redwoods, Noob. I, I really want to see those. Uh, I really want to see those Redwoods. That, uh, that's the reason I want to go. I like the idea of San Francisco as well. It seems like a cool city. It's always in the films, you know. I, I'd, like Alcatraz and, and the city itself seems kind of interesting to me. But uh, it's it's the, the Redwoods in particular. It's like they're only fucking trees, but I'd kind of like to see it. I think it'd be cool. As long as you don't mind the smell of fecal matter, blimey. Well, I've had two kids. Just don't stray a block away from the beaten path. Well, you could say that about nearly every city ever, though, you know. You could certainly say it about the cities in India or London or Paris or Rome. Paris is a really weird one. You can... You could be somewhere like absolutely amazing and walk a step, and then it's like uh, not the same. You know, most cities are the same, really. They're all like, they're all similar. <clears throat> okay. Well, I intend to go to both at some point. I intend to go to both. Uh, Lychee, I'm not looking to, to sort of branch out into more collabs than I've already got at the moment. I've already got a little group of people that I play with. Uh, and so I'm kind of fairly okay and chilled out playing with the little group of people that I play with, you know. I'm not saying no forever, by the way, but one of the things that that is kind of... I've talked about this earlier, but if I play with somebody, I like to play with one person. So it's just me and one other, because... You get a lot of team speak chatter if you've got three players and one dies. Then you've got, like, if 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 we're all at the Northwest Airfield and I die, and then for the next half an hour I'm trying to loot up and get back and talk to the chat because I'm in like the looting phase, but they don't die and they're still fighting at the airfield. Then for the next half an hour I've got the team speak chatter going on or the Discord chatter. I just find it a lot easier to play with one other person. You know, it makes the stream work really well. Bit. I'm in position number one. I've been position number one since I got back and in the queue. It's just nobody's left yet. That's the trouble. Need somebody to get killed and get salty and back out, you know? Well, running back to one teammate isn't much fun, but running... Like, if you're with two and one dies at the airfield and the other doesn't, they can probably get your gear and meet you halfway at Novi Sobor or something, right? So it's not that bad. But if if you're in a three and one dies at the airfield and the other two are still alive, they're still shooting at the airfield and you've got to run all the way back to the airfield half the time, you know? Oh, sorry, I did that prematurely. I'm just uh, like having. Oh, I think we should be going in any second. That I've started rather than looking at the changing server screen. I've started looking at the queue. Uh, sorry, the server launcher, because the server launcher goes down from. Let's say there's 130 players in the server. It goes down to 129, and then you know you're getting in. Uh, and it's a good way of checking if your queue bugged or not. Lychee, uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. But in-game team-ups are cool. Uh, me and Tope have teamed up. At, sorry, Tope. Me and Smoke have teamed up. Me and Smoke will probably team up again at some point, but we don't collab at the same time, you know. But we'll probably have a team up again at some point. I've played with him a few times in the past and probably will again in the future. Funky Jez, uh, I wouldn't consider a threesome with anybody. Even Angelina Jolie and Emily Blunt in my bedroom.
If you say so, Gravy. I think if you were going out with Angelina Jolie, she's not the one who's punching. <laughs> Too much disappointment to disappoint two of your idols at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, Gravy. <laughs> How about I don't know about steak and a baked potato. I don't. I don't like that. I like steak and chips. Is what I like. Do I have a dog? I don't, Max. But we're actually uh, we're wanting to get a, a cocker spaniel or a Welsh bringer spaniel. Uh, that's kind of the the plan. We're not quite ready yet. We've got more to do in the house. But when my missus bought this house, it was a fixer upper to say the least. Uh, and we're still in the fixing upping phase. But when we get there, that's the plan. We're going to get a, a spaniel of some sort. Hoogan, well, uh, Spr Cocker Spaniels aren't too bad. They're pretty chilled out. Welsh Springers are actually much more chilled out than Springer Spaniels. So a normal, regular English Springer Spaniel is, is, an, is an absolute nutter. But Welsh Springers are a little bit calmer and Cocker Spaniels are much more so. But yeah, that's all right. It'll be fine. You know, with, with I, I don't know, I'm going out on, on an hour-long walk every bloody day anyway. I'll just have something to go with. Do they chill, pilgrim? Very, very cool. Well, or not? Obsessive about weird things. What, like, like favourite toy or something? Uh, my missus quite likes corgis, but I, I want something that I can. And I guess corgis can, but they look—they look really funny when they walk. They kind of waddle, don't they? But I, I kind of like the idea of a spaniel anyway, because I am going on quite long walks. I kind of like the idea of having something to go with me that—that that feels like I'm not like like some dogs just wouldn't want to go on like a, say a four or five mile walk. You know, they just wouldn't. I don't. All your shit. Well, that's the idea. I and mean, obviously, some dogs are different than others. But the, in general, it's considered that Welsh Springers and Cockers are a little bit more chilled out than English Springers. But on the grand scheme of every dog ever, they're still pretty active. You know, they're not. They're not. Uh, they're not lap dogs. It's funny. Everybody wants you to get whatever dog they like. You know, like. Just let it get a Labrador, you'll never regret it. You might do if it hips go. Uh, my, my sister had a Golden Retriever and the hips on it, had she, she had so many problems with it. And it was from a reputable breeder, but... Uh, yeah, they, anyway, no, all dogs have their ups and their downsides. There's certainly nothing wrong with a Spaniel. I really like... Uh, I've always really liked Golden Retrievers. They, I always thought I would get a Golden Retriever myself, but my sister had one. And, uh, I don't know, I, I, I just, my missus has had, oh, that is nice, we can use that, oh no, I can't use it, fuck. Thought it was a modded scope, okay, I can't use it. I thought I could put it on the Mosin, but I can't. Uh, yeah, my missus had a cocker, sorry, a Welsh Springer when she was younger, and that was a lazy dog, by the way, but not all of them are, of course, but, uh, yeah, she likes Spaniels, I've always quite liked uh, Labradors and Retrievers, but I kind of like the idea of a Spaniel as well, I think it'd be cool. I do have a Mosin mount. Yeah, like I said before in verse, you can put all of the modded scopes on the Mosin mount. You can't put the regular hunting scope on the Mosin mount, so it just won't go. See, no, no bueno. Spaniel madness, eh? Blimey. I think I've already got girlfriend madness. <laughs> <laughs> Metric. <laughs> What's for the Mosin? You've lost me there, Whisper. Whisper, which house, dude? I missed them, did I? Which house were they at rounds in? Two ago doesn't help me. I don't know when. I don't know what. Was it this one? 
<laughs> I appreciate you spotting it, by the way, but... Someone else is saying there were 380 and not the rounds I actually needed anyway. Yeah, it's really hard with the timelines. Yeah, they, they, I did see those. Yeah, that's that's not Mosin rounds. They're, they're 380. Oh, well, never mind. Don't worry about it, Whispers. I've not quite got one of Lax's shame emotes yet, but it's coming. <laughs> Fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. I was planning on going to the overgrown military. But I haven't got a battery. I've got that torch, which will help. But you need a head torch, really, and a battery. Yeah, like, worrying about what dog could get what. Like I just said about a golden retriever, it might get hit problems. You could get... Every dog breed ever has some, some traits that are positive and negative. There isn't one that doesn't. Labradors can have trouble, so can retrievers, they can have trouble with the back legs, so can Alsatians or German Shepherds, whatever, you know. Every breed has something, and if you get, like, me and my family, we had two mongrels. Uh, we, we just had two mongrels, they're like free to good home type dogs, you know, like they didn't cost anything. Uh, and they both died when they were seven, you know, they, they, they both had issues, and, and that... That's that, you know. They didn't last very long, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, shit happens. Marinus, we've done a bit of octopus sperm, because I've got a book of octopus sperm. A bump, bunker, bumper book of octopus sperm I've got in my, uh, in my inventrix. Uh, Orville time, thank you very much for the seven months. That's really, really yeah. kind. Thank you. Hill Brando, thank you again. Justin, yeah, uh, my sister's dog had all sorts of troubles and eventually got put down, but towards the end it could, like, barely walk out to get into the garden and stuff, and they were taking it to the vets and doing everything right, and, and when it was really too much, that had to be put down too, and it is, it is it's sad, but... It lived quite a long life. I think it lived to about 11 or 12, something like that. That's a guess, but it, it was around that age. It did all right, you know. It certainly had the, the best of care and all was well, you know. But Sheffy! <laughs> I've been to the psychic, and she said I'm going to get some terrible news in 13 years' time. So I bought a puppy to cheer me up. That That's actually kind of good. <laughs> I like that one. Amundre, do I play on low-pop servers? Do you play at all? I, I'm willing to bet, dude, that when I play on a full-pop server compared to when you play on a full-pop server, I see more people than you do in a day. Trust me. I, I don't know if you don't play the game so much or what, but this map is the biggest map in Daisy, and the player pop might be, let's say, 60 or 70 or 80. You can absolutely go a while without seeing anyone on this map, you know. Especially when, like, nine-tenths of the server are in the bottom southwestern corner. Once you get further north than the prison, pretty much, most of the servers stop. They're all there. Well, Smoke plays a lot of Namalsk, you know. Namalsk is a much smaller map. Namalsk is a very, very small map with 40 players on it, you know. I don't play the same map. He does play other maps too, of course, by the way. But he does play a lot of Namalsk. Uh, Namalsk, you, you, you do bump into people more often, but... Uh, Different maps, different different styles. Banov is bigger than Chernerus, yeah. CJ, I've died today. I've not died on this character yet, or otherwise this character would be dead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I got three kills at the prison with a crossbow earlier. 
Uh, we got three kills at the prison, two with a crossbow and one with a shotgun that I lifted off one of the dead guys. Uh, and then, like, a second party of two players turned up and shot me. I could use that. I could use that chambered, but I don't really want to... I don't know. And one thing with smoke as well is that it'll very often team up with other players in the early stages, you know, and that, that's great, you know, that, that works really well. Sometimes I team up with other players and sometimes I don't, but today I haven't met anyone on this character, so the last person I met tried to kill me with a pistol and fortunately he didn't succeed, so fortunately for me, you know, but uh, if no one's around that talks and the only one you see shoots, you, you're not going to team up, are you, you know? Why do I have a bibble? Uh, I have a bibble because it's not actually a bibble, it's octopus spunk. It's octopus spunk. It's not octopus spunk, it is... Singularity cell ammo box. It's a box with lots of rounds in it. Lots and lots of rounds for the, for the alien gun that this particular map has. You need to be more friendly, then everyone will team up with you. That translates to you need to play on the same server every day, and then everybody will know where you are, and then you can team up with. They can team up with you. <laughs> Lychee, well, most dogs are inbred, dude. Like, it, it's it inbred. They're not inbred per se, but they're selectively bred, and, and every if you if when humans start selectively breeding, it does narrow the gene pool. Like if you breed dogs for certain things, you might be breeding out other things. You know, it's kind of just the way breeding is. But like so are so is so are racehorses, so are all sorts, so are cows, so are the cows that you use for your food. You know, they're all they're all selectively bred over over centuries, but they've been selectively bred for certain tasks over over many years, haven't they? You know, so. Uh, but selective breeding can cause issues in the gene pool, in theory. Uh, and I guess it, it's possible in the early days they were a little bit more so. If you get, like, you got a couple of dogs that were similar, so you wanted to create something from that, you know, like, they might have been from the same family line, I suppose. So are people from Burnley? Well, thankfully, Azzy, uh my dad was from uh, Briarfield and my mum was from Leicestershire, so uh, I'm alright on that front. You were about to say people from Norwich. Well, I went to Norwich the other day. I can't, I can't really confirm nor deny. I thought Norwich was alright. I like that bit Ricky Gervais does about uh, about dogs and like handing out the uh, the tasks. There's a skit that he does about uh, about dogs and like, oh, you want to be a retriever? You're going to go and fetch and carry things, yeah? And the dog goes, yeah, yeah. And then they get, he gets to the Rhodesian Ridgeback and you're going to fight lions. Fucking what? <laughs> that, that's kind of funny, that, that, that little skit he does. That is very good. I saw Ricky Gervais live, but it was before that series. I don't even know what series I saw it. I think it was his second second stand-up tour. It was probably about, I don't know, 2008, eight, nine, something like that. And I saw him at the Bloomsbury Theatre, and it was like the comedians do like a few test shows. So he'd written the material, and then he did like three or four nights at the Bloomsbury Theatre before he then did the full tour kind of thing. Do I have a favourite comedian? Uh, I, I used to say Sean Locke quite a lot, actually. I saw Sean Locke live. Uh, he, he was good in the UK. I really liked him. My favourite comedian is probably an eclectic one that's kind of, uh, like, 
small, really. I, I really like Stuart Lee. He's very much an acquired taste, and he comes across like a real, uh, like, like he's looking down his nose on other comedians and stuff. But I really like Stuart Lee a lot. I think he's fucking brilliant. The problem with stand-up comedians when you go to see them is that they tell too many jokes. That's the trouble with stand-up comedians. They tell too many jokes. So I kind of like, like, if you're sitting there for an hour and a half, and it's like, like, if you see Jimmy Carr, it's like five second joke, ten second joke, ten second joke, ten second joke, ten second, and you just get like, it's like being fired at by a machine gun, and you're just being hit and hit and hit and hit. I, I, I much prefer to see the ones that kind of tell a bit more of a story, or a bit more, there's a bit more thought going into it. You know, like Dave Gorman, for example, I saw him stand up once upon a time. I don't particularly like the, the shows that Dave Gorman does that much. They were all right. But seeing him stand up, uh, that was the Apollo Theatre, uh, he was brilliant. It was really good. I prefer that. Like, when you see, like, a one-liner type comedian, you want 20 minutes and then you want him gone, you know? Like, once you've had 20 minutes, like, fucking hell, I, I can't take any more of this. I can't remember what you said 30 seconds ago. Mickey Flanagan's good, yeah. I've never seen him live, but I've seen him, obviously, I've seen his stand-up shows. He is good. And Bill Burr's stuff on Netflix is very good. Uh, I don't mind Burt Kreischer or whatever you meant to say as well. He was alright. I've seen the Netflix shows of those. They're okay, but... Uh, the, my favourite comedian I've seen live was, was probably Stuart Lee. I think he's fucking hilarious. Holy shit. I just realised I've come this way, I don't have the battery, do I? Can I do this without a battery? I don't think, without, without a torch, I don't think I can. I don't have a battery hiding away somewhere. Check the cars. There was a battery in the bag, was there? I hope there was. It just looked like all meat to me. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think I even jumped. I haven't got the stamina. Oh, there is a battery in the bag. Dude. Right, I think I'm going to drop the carbine. I've not seen much of Brad Williams. He's not one that I'm familiar with. Uh, he's not. I don't. He's not from the UK. I presume. I've not seen seen much of him. Well, thank you, Big. I'll go on tour. Don't worry. I've seen Ross Noble. Yeah, Ross Noble's pretty funny. I quite like him. I've seen some of his stand-up on the telly. I find James Acasta somehow annoying. Just I don't know if it's his mannerisms or the fact he's a bit of a posh twat, but he's pretty funny as well. He's alright. I've seen quite a lot of st comedian stand-up. I, I can't even remember who I've seen. I've seen Frank Skinner. Uh, uh, I've seen... Uh, I've seen Ricky Gervais. I've seen Peter Kay twice. I've seen... Uh, 
loads of them, loads of them. I seen Sean Locke before he died, not many years ago. Purple Van Man tour that was. Uh, but most of the main ones in the UK that do it. I went to some uh, like charity thing in uh, the Apollo Theatre one year, and and that had like Russell Brand and that posh twat that's uh, what's his name, uh, something Whitehall, here Jack Whitehall, and. Uh, Russell Howard and loads of other ones of like that kind of build. They all did like 20 minutes each. That was good. Exactly, Uncle Food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be tricky to see see Sean Lock so quite so much now, Big Kev. Yeah, I saw Sean Lock before he died. <laughs> Poor bastard. He was so funny, Sean. Like, he was brilliant. I, I've said it a lot in the past, I, long be, long before he died, but I went to see Channel 4's, like, before they did 8 out of 10 cats, uh, does countdown, I went to see the regular 8 out of 10 cats. And Sean Locke was fucking hilarious. Like, I, and a lot of what he said wasn't in the show, because it probably couldn't have gone in the show, but he was just fucking, he was so good. He was fucking funny. What about Alan Davis? He's all right. I, I think Alan Davis, to be honest, is more of a wit than he, he's more witty and he's good on panel shows. He's good in QI, you know, but he's more like the he's more like playing the fool in QI. He's not really as stupid as he kind of plays up to, is he? But I, I've seen some of his really old stand-up stuff, but he doesn't do much stand-up now, I don't think, does he? Roy Chubby Brown, uh, that doesn't really go go for me. Funny enough, I was thinking about it the other day. I once saw Jim Davidson live because some people that I used to drink with in the pub went, and so I went. That was just like, I, it was like I was in a time machine. I, it must have been in like early 2000s, I guess. Like, it was probably something like 2002, 2003. And uh, Johnny Vegas is hilarious. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, uh, I, I saw... Uh, I saw him. That was, like, depressing, I have to say. I, I'm sorry to say it, Jim Davidson. I, I'm sure you're really bothered about my critique, but uh, it wasn't very good. It's time to start rolling. Thanks, Paul. Well, Jay Forrest, he has come out. I, 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 your message has been timed out. It is quite contentious, but in 2002, he wasn't that, was he? You know, he was still doing, like, stuff like the Generation game and, like, uh, all over the place. So yeah, I saw him then. I didn't find him funny then, you know. And some of the stuff he's come out with now has been kind of like, I don't know, misplaced. But he is who he is. He's like 60 odd year old man, you know. You go around the UK and ask 60 year old, 60 -odd -year -old men questions, they're going to give you slightly 60 year old men answers, you know. I say that quite confidently as a fucking middle aged man myself that gets things wrong too. Well, yeah, he's not very funny. He wasn't funny then, you know. He was a massive... It's funny, I was thinking about exactly this topic about him, because if you think about someone like Bruce Forsyth, right, he managed to stay... Like, he did, like, stuff like The Generation Game. He did the big shows, but he always did the big shows for decades. And he always stayed... I don't know if relevant is right, but he, he never got himself cancelled. He never said stuff stupid. He always towed the line, and he always did the right... If you think about someone like Jim Davidson at the time, back then, in, in that, like, uh, Baron, the late 90s, early 2000s, he was fucking everywhere. He was on all sorts of shows. He was, like, one of, like, the prime time hosts. But his his time has come, and, you know, now he looks, like, really, like, out of touch, you know. Ultimate Gamer, yeah, cancellation wasn't culture wasn't a thing, but the audience liking you or not was a thing. And and it like Jim Davidson stopped getting telly rolls before Twitter was around, dude. It, it's not just as simple as that, you know. And I used did use the term he didn't get cancelled, but you could easily end up not being on primetime telly anymore if you were saying Julian Kerry got kind of cancelled for something he said on the telly and long before there was any internet that would cancel him, you know. He said something about going to do something with Norman Lamont, which probably would be a joke he would get away with now. But he said he was going to go and do something with a politician, and he got himself, like, banned from live TV, and it did affect his career a lot, you know? And that, that was long before there was any any Twitter or any internet, you know? You could still do, do or say something that would affect your career. Of course you could. 
You like Chris Rock slapstick comedy, do you? Ron Atkinson as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the other dude that... Uh, Rodney Marsh as well, he got kind of booted off of make, making a stupid joke about about the Toon Army. Uh, Silent, thank you very much for the six months. A quartermaster, thank you for the 14 months. Travi Baby, uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very, very much. Cheers for the bits. Cheers for tuning into that content as well, dude. Thank you. Clinkers, uh, cheers for the support as well. Thank you very, very much. Let's move these back over. Uh, Clinkers, cheers for the new sub. Kay Kaylee Brook, thank you for the eight months. And Orville time, thank you for the seven. I know I've not caught any alerts for a little while, so if I've missed yours, apologies. I am grateful. MP5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about that quite a lot on Monday. I, I, I certainly wasn't coming down in the side that it was okay to do the slapping, but uh, I, I, I think the joke was particularly poor as well. What am I doing here? But yeah, we've done that subject to death, you know. I've, I, I really enjoyed talking about it Monday, but I think we've, we've covered it. Acme Condor, well I hope your life goes okay for your entirety of your life, dude, because trust me, nobody's life does. Whether you're an actor on the telly, or whether you're a footballer, or whether you're whatever, working in Tesco's, or like fat kind of middling Twitch streamer, everyone has problems in their life. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad your life goes so well that you don't have any problems, but nobody else's does. I've not found Mosin lights. Mosin, yeah. And I, I don't. I think. Uh, I, I think that was an, an abhorrent joke. If I'm being honest, anyway. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of okay. I could take a joke personally, quite happily, you know. But I, I, I think it was bad. I think it was very, very bad taste. And I think Chris Rock should know better. TRMZ love, TRMZ love, still TRMZ G heart. But that doesn't excuse the other thing. And like I say, we've done it to death. So Twitch alone, that is his job, but it, it wasn't a roast, right? And we are talking about it a little bit. Don't worry, guys, we're not going to spend an hour on it. The Oscars is not a roast. It's a worldwide TV event to to like what 90 million people watching or something like that it's not the the roast of the smiths right his job was he wasn't the host of the event his job was to present an award he was on there for two minutes say something for two minutes and then get the fuck off you know the event it's nothing to do with him he, he's not meant to be the story of the day it's not meant to be who can i go and take the piss off and get the biggest laugh about or who can i make i'll make the biggest headline and everyone will be talking about me tomorrow is it you know he's there to present an award and that's it and telling a joke is fine, but to put yourself in the position, anyone that's, that's got a, another half of like, that gets ready to go out and sometimes they get stressed because they don't have anything to wear or they're not happy with the way they look, their, their own body image is not right or whatever, then they're, they're not happy about the way they look and what they're doing and where they're going and they're like, I really don't want to go. I've, I can relate to that. I don't want to go out tonight. I just can't face it. You know, that kind of thing, right? Everyone's had that, right? And like, imagine you're going to the Oscars as a woman, 
and you're meant to be all beautified and the next day the clothes you're wearing are going to be in magazines and you're either going to be a hit or a miss and you're going to be and again these are multi-millionaires they're very well off but nonetheless in terms of like your own stresses and your own strains and your own pressures everyone has them whether they've got lots of money or whether they haven't you know whether you're going out down the pub and you've got fuck all no money or whether you're an oscar winner or whether you're up for an oscar or not whether you're an actor or whether you're a normal person whatever because actors aren't normal people obviously lizards right uh the point still remains those stresses are the same for everybody whoever you are the stresses are the same so you're that late you're that woman and you're 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 concerned about the night and and looking okay and and not being judged for what you're wearing in the world's eyes which is what happens right and you've also got alopecia so you've shaved your hair and you've talked about all of it and then you sit down and your husband's up for an award and you're really excited for the night and then you get a joke like that about your appearance and how you're all ready to be G.I. Jane because you've got no hair. Through no choice of your own, you know, like, it's not a good joke, is it? It's just not, it's not a good joke. It isn't. And and a lot of people will be like, well, poor, poor, poor uh, Jada Pinkett and her millions, you know. And, and I understand the resentment, but people are people and stress is stress. And worrying about what you're going to look like it, for a night out happens whether you've got any money or whether you've got loads of money. Uh, and I, th I think taking the piss out of someone's hair falling out because of an autoimmune disease is a low blow. <laughs> and, and if you think it's not, then I think you should not make jokes about that about other people, you know. It's like, I'm a little bit fat, right? But I'm a little bit fat because I ate too much, you know. If someone wants to take, a, take the piss out of me a little bit, I can probably take it, you know. I ate the food, you know. I'm all right with that. But if my hair fell out because of an illness and someone took the piss out of me for that, I don't think it's the same. It's just not the same. It's it's cruel. It's a cruel low blow. And there's also a load of history around uh, women of a particular race and the centuries of problems with hair and the abuse that they get and all sorts as well that are thrown into that as well, which Chris Rock knows, fully aware, fully knows, you know. There's all sorts going on there. It's just not a bad. It's not just a bad taste joke. It, there really is a lot going on, and and to say it's just a joke about her hair, well, it's not. It's not in the context of what's going on and her her issue, which he knew. It was a low blow. A low blow cheap shot. <laughs> she didn't say she doesn't care. That's not true, Pep. She said how much it had affected her. I've seen the interview myself. Talked about the stresses of having to choose to shave her hair off and what it meant. I'm not. I'm not justifying the violence, Paradise. People are justifying the joke. I just don't. I don't agree. Going to a going to see a comedian who tells a joke about an illness is fine, but telling a joke about an individual's illness and personalising it for them and mocking their appearance, that's not fine. There's, there's a big difference, and I think it's 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 a bit sad that people can't see that. You know, if you go to see a comedian and he tells a joke about, I don't know, an illness you can die of, and name anyone you like one that's got four letters in it right uh, he tells a joke about that and there's somebody in the audience randomly that has that disease that's what happens when you go to see a comedian you accept it but if you go to a if you go to a show and the, the audience knows that the celebrity in the background has that disease and he singles them out and takes the piss out of them for it that's a low blow it just is how can you possibly if you think it's not then i'm sorry your sense of humor is a shit one i'm really sorry and it just is it's it's like a personal attack it's just not the same thing it's not like just like oh you've chosen to cut your hair off blimey okay well uh, maybe good for swimming then that's not the case is it that's not what it was right i need to save some stamina and, I, and that's what i've said my piece i don't want to repeat it loads more but justifying that joke because he's a comedian is kind of bullshit it's still a low blow i think it is uh i've got to get rid of the five seven I feel like we've done this before Uh, Camphiax, uh, well, but I like, I like talking about it a little bit, Camphiax, to be fair, dude. I like talking about it a lot more than I like hearing about how people don't want to hear about it, to be honest. And we've covered it, we didn't talk about it yesterday, and this is the five minutes today, I think that's okay. Uh, we're really infected, uh, we're all infected, thank you very much for the support. I watch you while I shower, but not in a creepy way. Well, as long as you mean, uh, on the screen and not through my bedroom window, I'm fine with that. Uh... 
Thank you very much, Whirly. Uh, Regan, uh, Paul to his 5.7. I can't quit you. I'm struggling, actually. I, I need to save more stamina than we have. The bear doesn't weigh anything, Hugo. The bear doesn't weigh anything. The, the reason I'm carrying the bear is because it's good for protecting future bottle suppressors that I make, right? So, like this, I can make it into a bottle. A bottle suppressor for the Mosin, and then I can uh, keep it so it doesn't get ruined, you know? Alopecia can be brought on for all sorts of reasons. It can be stress, it can be brought on by pregnancy, it can be brought on for everything, but it's not the same as hair loss. Like, if you're a man that's getting into their 40s and you start losing your hair, or maybe you do it when you're 20s or whatever, you know, hair loss as a man, a, a, like pattern, male pattern boldness, right? You just gradually recede and lose your hair, or maybe it happens a bit quicker. So people go bold in their 20s and 30s sometimes, but norm, it's like a, a social norm. It's kind of socially accepted, you know? Alopecia is whole patches of your hair falling out from the day before. You know, you wake up in the pillow and there's a patch of your hair gone. And not on the edge, it's not a receding line. It's a patch gone in the middle somewhere, you know? It's clearly not the same thing, you know? It's not the same as taking the piss out of someone because they're, they're 60 and they lost their hair like lots of 60-year-old men do. It's still just hair loss. No, it's not, Viking. It's not if you're a woman with long hair that... that Care. Lots of women care about how they appear and want to not have massive patches missing in the hair. It's not the same thing at all. If you think it is, you don't understand women. I don't understand women very well as well, but I know for a fact if my missus's hair started falling out randomly in patches, it would be a it would be a stressful time for her. It wouldn't be like me losing my hair. That wouldn't be really stressful for me. And it is, it is an autoimmune disease. It's not just you're getting a bit old and you're losing your hair. <clears throat> but understanding it, rather than just trying to say it's just losing it, it's better to understand things than just say silly things like it's just like losing your hair and taking the piss out of an old man, you know? It's just not, not the same thing. But people like to justify shit. Uh, I've got to save more stamina. I, these aren't going to save much. In fact, I'm cold. I might use some of these. What's wet? That's something. Oh, let's dry some shit. It is. I actually had someone on Twitter talk. It, someone I, I, I watches the stream and kind of seems pretty chilled was was trying to justify the joke by saying it's the same as somebody being bold and it's just not understanding the difference between say a 30 something year old woman having massive patches of hair missing in the middle of their head several patches of it like like uh, understanding the difference between that and losing your hair like receding over many time many years that just how, how can you possibly think they're the same you like have you never had a girlfriend because if you have, you'll know how they care about their hair and how they look on a night out and stuff, you know? Um. <gasps> now, I don't want to drop that. I, I've got to save some more stamina, but there's... It's the guns. It's the guns that's the problem. I and mean, that's three kilos. That's three kilos. I could... I could drop another pistol, but it's only one kilo. And that might be my zombie killer. Oh, we've got that. Let's, let's drop this as well. I could drop... I could drop... What's the condition of that? That's pristine. All right, let's drop that. Thing is, though, this is only 0.25 of a kilo. You know, what weight are we... So we could drop that one. That, that makes a bit of a saving. I probably have enough shotgun shells to drop oh, half a kilo. Yeah, we'll drop those. I might put that on the UMP. We'll keep that for now. Oh, it's got a... Oh, that's cool. It's got a... I didn't realise it had a battery already. I thought I'd gone too early. 
I thought I'd gone too early. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Dude. If if someone says something like that and 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 you're on the telly like that, you can see why you might smile and kind of laugh it off, right? You can see why you might smile and laugh it off nervously because you're on the telly. And then you turn to your missus and realise she's really, really hurt by it. And then you feel you need to do something, right? You, you can see that, right? You, you can see why you might change. Because you've realised actually what's being said has really hurt your missus. You can see that. It doesn't mean he was fucking pissing himself laughing, you know? It means that he, he, a comedian's roasting his missus. And he's trying to put on a nervous life like everyone else has done. Like he did earlier when someone took the piss out of him. Because he's at the Oscars and there's a camera on his face, you know? You do understand that, right? still doesn't excuse what he did, but it doesn't excuse the joke. The joke is unacceptable too, and that needs to be... That, that, that's true. Anyway, I'm bored of it now. Let, let, I'm done, but trying to talk it down and trying to say it's just boldness and trying to say that people should take jokes, bullshit, you know? Like, actually targeting an individual for that is is not okay. So is not slapping someone, though. Well, that filled the bit where we were underground, anyway. So now we're at the base. And I always feel like, oh, someone's... The fuck? I don't know how somebody managed to fucking javelin that uh, stick down there. I never like checking these, and I might regret saying this in a second, but I, I've actually been shot at when I've been coming up these in the past. They are so out in the open. I don't really like checking them, but I think it's probably worth it. I'm done with the subject, by the way, guys. It's okay if you disagree with me, but I'm not going to change my mind. You can't say anything that justifies that particular joke. It was a shit joke and a personal attack at someone with alopecia, which it does matter. And, it, and on a night like that, when your husband's up for an award, it does matter. It's going to hurt. And it was uncalled for. And he was wrong to tell the joke. Uh, take, saying jokes about alopecia when he's doing his stand-up, he can do what the fuck he wants, you know. If he's got a few thousand people paying to watch him and maybe it's a Netflix special, maybe, oh, I do what he likes. But at the Oscars on that night with a personal attack on someone's appearance because of a disease they have, yeah, fuck that. That's a bit of a low blow. I don't think he needed to do it. You can think otherwise and justify it all you want. I think you're wrong. You can think I'm wrong. That's fine. And that's the end of it, isn't it? We don't need to talk about it anymore. I, I, I'm not qualified in that I don't go to the Oscars, but I take a lot of fucking jokes uh, in doing what I do. I take a lot of snipes on a daily basis. People come into the chat and like to tell me I'm old or tell me I'm slow or tell me I've got bad aim or whatever on a daily basis. And I can take a joke is my point. They're all fine. I'm, they're, they're fine. They're part of streaming. One thing you realise when you're a streamer is that you are the joke, you know, when you when you're... When you're streaming, you're the joke, you know. You're not making jokes, you kind of are the joke. It's part of it, you know, so... I'm, I'm not saying, oh, I'm the victim here. It's just, it's fun, I enjoy it, you know. It's part of being a streamer, you know. That's kind of what I'm getting to. I, I'm certainly able to take a joke, is my point. But I can also see what's funny and what's a bit cruel, you know. Uh... Easy. Uh, thank you very, very much for the gifted subs. That's very, very kind. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers for the support. Uh, I know there was another alert or two as well. I'll catch those in a sec. I'm probably going straight to looting a little bit quickly here. But when I'm here normally, I, there's normally like an M16 or better, like really early. I don't need that. Wish I kept the 5.7 mag now.
Uh, zombie, thank you very much for the bits. That's really, really kind. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're old, slow, and have shit aim, but I still love you. Fair enough. <laughs> Cheers for the support. That's really, really kind. Sprue90, thank you for the prime. That's very kind as well. Cheers for the support. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with you on that supply banner. I'm done talking about it, but it's not the same what he did. He was he's he's a lot more smart about what he does. up the more you play the quicker it gets you know like the best the best line with regards to looting there is in the game and i think i i well i know i coined it that the way that looting works in daisy is uh, it's a few words it's if you're finding fuck all fuck off you know that's it you know loot is it, you get it in pockets you know a bit like testicles and hands you know <laughs> you uh if you're not finding very much stop looting where you are and move on that's the best thing you can do if you arrive at the town and there's like 30 houses and you loot 4 or 5 and there's not much, stop looting the rest. Don't loot the other 25. Fuck off, you know, go somewhere else, you know. If someone's, if, if 5 or 6 houses have got no loot, the rest of the 24 likely have no loot. If it's a massive town, just move on like several blocks, you know, like if, you, if we're talking like America speak, you know. Uh, if you're in a massive town and you maybe someone's looting around the area you're, you're at, go to the other side of town and try that, you know. And there's key places to loot, there's key things to go, you know, like hunting stands, feed shacks, uh, castles, like scope spawning areas, hunting spawning areas, knowing where they are and how to find them is kind of useful. That's cool. Hi Dark Knight, how you doing? Steve, you're not the first that's asked that today, for sure. It's a box of bullets for the Singularity Cannon. Which is what I'm hoping to get at some point. Yeah, if you want to load bullets into a mag, as long as you've got the bullets open and out of the box in your inventory, you just press and hold R while you've got the mag in your hand. You can do it with guns as well, so if you've got Mosin rounds in your backpack, you just press and hold R to load the Mosin rounds into your Mosin, you know, same thing. You just have to have the mag in your hand. Forgot about that fight. We had a really cool fight here the other day, didn't we? Uh, I was trapped after getting injured by a uh, a mine. It kind of put me to yellow health, and then somebody came to look for me. That's not an AK one. I don't think it fits. It doesn't. 
The AK is modded on this server. The, the baby AK is modded to be a little bit different. Bison, I don't want that. Oh, why I'm aiming around that one. I guess it's a good habit to be in, but given that I just walked past it, I don't think there's going to be anybody in there, is there? Probably not. What is that one there? They are 15. The amount of drop loot we're finding makes me wonder if somebody's like very, very close. It just seems like too much drop loot. find a couple more bullets for the AK-74, I'll probably drop the, the shotgun, to be honest. Just the sheer amount of drop loot here makes me feel like it's not just one player as well. It's not just a little bit. We're finding like an orgy of drop shit. Like a big group has come rolling through fairly recently. It feels like that. Feast, thanks for sharing. Deputy Mullins, dude, tweet me a picture if you want. Don't if you don't, but do. I hope you like it, man. That's cool. It's a zombie that's running around, CJ. Uh, D9. D9. Uh, D9Z, thank you very much for the gifted sub. I don't know how I meant to say that. Let's hope D9Z is correct. Thanks for the gifted subs. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Braddon, thank you for the three months. Uh, Pent up zombie. Sprue, thank you for the support as well. D-Bear, well, it's my it's my longest range weapon. It's definitely worth... Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. Oh, fuck that. It, it, it's effectively my kind of mid-range snipery type gun right now. It's the, it's the same as using a PU, I guess, you know? Like, if you've got a PU and a PU, one PU and a Mosin and a, and a SKS, use the SKS for close range. Ooh. And, and the Mosin for mid and long, don't you, you know? But right now, I haven't got that, so it's it's got to be the long. Now I've got a few. I'm going to do the switcheroo. You can repair the plate carrier. It should be in pretty good condition. I already repaired it. In the regular game, you can repair it with a leather sewing kit and epoxy putty. In this server, I've got that as well, in fact. Do I need both? I'll keep it for now. Hardly jumps up around corners. This is actually quite good. Okay, that's the zombie we could hear. Ooh, what fucking happened there? Anyway. Uh, watchful. Yeah, I wanted to watch that. Worth keeping the SVD mag? It probably is, but I'm not too worried. I, I, I doubt we could find some helis, but I don't know. I'm all about the Mar 10 and the uh, and the alien gun today, to be honest.
I actually have a Martin on uh, Melkart as well, don't I? I think this week's YouTube video is going to be an Epic Moments video. This week feels like an Epic Moments week. Uh, we've had some cool stuff happen, like we've had some cool stories, but there's been lots of what feel like sh daisy, like five minute, ten minute videos. So, like just thinking about falling off the roof on Melkart and then going and getting the Mar 10 afterwards with the same gear after getting back, you know, like that. And then also earlier today getting three kills with nothing but a crossbow and gearing up that way, you know. That, there's been some really cool stuff gone on lately, you know, like we had some, like the push here to that guy up there. I got stuck in this building and, and hit a landmine and then pushed the dude and wall banged him, you know. There's been some really cool individual moments that will make a nice like 25 minute video, let's say. I'm not going to go that way, I'm going to keep this. The main reason I'm looting all of this is because I need the gas zone stuff. I need the NBC loot, so we've got to loot the whole thing, you know, like... If, I know I've, only, I've, got, I've got no gloves, I've got the boots and the hat, and I've got the gas mask and two filters, but I still need the jacket and the pants, and I need the gloves as well. So, we've still got a ways to go. This is one of the best places to find it. And I need to find the keys as well, never mind anything else. Boots and hats and boots and hats. <laughs> Certainly not a mosing round day, is it? Fuck me. Kind of tedious this, but have to do it, I think. MCX, I don't know whether it was a bison or what. I feel like I saw it, but I'll double check anyway. I, I stuff that doesn't feel relevant, it just goes in one ear and out the other, or in one eye and out the bum hole, or whatever, you know, like. I don't pay a great deal of attention. I, if it's If it's not relevant, I instantly dismiss it, kind of thing. Yeah, UMP. I think I did see that. Check the ground before I went in, because when if when every door's closed and one door's not, when every door's locked, you have to think maybe there's a mine on that door, you know. I feel like there's still people here. I know I've kind of like just fairly brazenly looted the tents, but it really feels like someone's still here. That's the, uh, that's what's in this box. Guys, excellent news. Do you know what's excellent news? Now we don't have to answer what's in this box anymore on stream. It's going to be so much simpler. Now we're going to have to answer what's in that box and what's that blue thing. <laughs> it's going to be so much more fun. I can hardly wait.
fix them, but there's probably not much point. There's there's plenty of others around as as we see there. These are so dull to loot. I haven't done the camo building the other side yet. I don't know if we should do that or not. I suppose we ought to. Uh, bootleg, thank you so much for the 14 months, by the way, dude. Thank you. I think I shot a zombie in the first one, didn't I? really tedious this but just in case you're wondering that every time I come up I'm trying to get into the habit of doing the same thing so I always come up here save that for later They may have seen me. I always come up, like what I was saying, I come up, I always walk up the stairs backwards. And you have to check two, two places, th or three places, but as you walk backwards, you have to check where I'm aiming from. You have to check from here as well, because really, lately I've found quite a few smarter players being here. Because the most expected is here, because you can easily aim down the stairs. But everybody looks exactly here first, so if someone's walking backwards checking here, and you're here, it just got, it buys you that tiny extra second or extra fifth of tenth of a second, whatever it might be, to, to aim and shoot. But once you've checked those two places, you have to very quickly spam, sort of spin around, because you can also have somebody sort of prone here as well. on here.
fuck. Love you. I might die here. Am I out of it here? Yeah, I'm out of it here. <sighs> Holy shit. I didn't leave the bag. I picked the bag back up. I tried to drop it and then I couldn't, so I left it. I didn't get the time to loot in there. I knew I was going to be in the gas zone. Like, when it landed, I knew that... That's another moment for the Epic Moments of the Week video, though, right? That's a cool one. That's maybe like an introductory one, you know, like uh, like the the start before the start start, you know. That's That feels like that's what that is, you know, like the little intro kill. best thing we got there, the very best thing we got is the red key. That is very, very, very cool. Because that's where we go to get the alien weapon weaponry. I didn't get him in the head. I didn't think he'd be, he'd be dead. I thought he'd only be unconscious. I, I didn't... He kept moving, and rightly so. That's what he should have been doing. So, he was in my... I... I Rightly or wrongly, I chose to take the shot rather than aim for his head. And I think it, it worked out alright, you know. If I'd gone for his head, I probably would have made it over to his body a little bit slower. And by doing that, I would have ended up... Uh, not not getting the kills. Or, or not loot. It might have even been funnier to let him wake up in the zone. That would have been fucking hilarious, the poor bastard. Wouldn't it? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. The thing that annoys me about epic moments of the week videos is that I've, I started numbering them. And it does it's not the end of the world, but the best viewed video of mine is epic moments in DayZ. Once you put a hashtag two or three or four on it, some people get kind of turned off. You know, they don't want to watch epic moments 47. They don't want to watch it, you know. So I might just call it like epic moments banoff or something like that. But then there's some Melkart Mel stuff on there. I might just call it epic moments modded map madness. <laughs> That sounds pretty good. Epic Moments Modded Map Madness. There you go. Done. I might call it that. I'm not fucking around with his backpack. If I try and get that backpack, it'll, I'll probably die. You can only stay in the gas zone for a short amount of time before you start throwing up and sicking blood and then you die, you know, so... Epic Moments. A capitalised Epic. And then Modded Map Madness capitalised. Yeah, Epic Moments in Daisy. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, I just can't get my glass. My glasses are all eyeballed and I can't fucking see. Hang on. Or, like, I've, I've managed to, like, thumb them or something. I've got, like, fingerprints on my glasses. I can't see. Where am I from, Cock Grears? I'm from uh, Novi Sobor. Now that's more of a uh, that's more of a clickbait one. Th how a thirteen thousand hour Daisy player gets epic Hello, moments. Everybody. The kind of the kind of epic moments only thirteen thousand hours in Daisy can get you. Some bullshit like that. I hate those titles, and I know I've used them, but I hate them nonetheless. I I used it this week because I had to. It was the right thing to do for the views of the video, but. I, Me too, D Bear. Tear gas grenade would be cool. Danger, hello. Hope you're good. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. Very kind, man. Thank you. 
Where am I from? To answer your question properly, by the way, I'm from, uh, well, I live in Suffolk in England. Uh, I was born up north in Lancashire, but I live in Suffolk in England at the moment. I'm somewhat north of London. He thought he had me banged to rights there, didn't he? He, he? What he shouldn't have done, you know, is, is shoot the zombie. Maybe he thought the suppressor was too... was like more OP than it was or what, but... If he doesn't shoot the zombie there, if he just gets himself in the building... He gets the kill, you know, I'll open the door, he'll kill me, won't he? Do it slowly. Do it do some. <laughs> right, so that's another one found. We've just got the gloves. So we've got... We're starting to get the stuff together to get the alien gun. We've got the... Uh... He didn't expect that window play. Nice job. Nobody expects the window play. They don't. I, I know a lot of people watch me do it on stream, but lots of people don't realise that you can do that. For a long time, I didn't realise it was somebody telling me you could do it that made me try it, I think. I didn't know you could do it either, you know, like... And we're going back several years now, to say the least, but yeah, lots of people don't know you can do that. He's probably now thinking it was two players, you know, he'll probably be thinking, fucking hell, two players. There's always another, I shouldn't have been so confident, you know. Yeah, I guess the last death clip is probably better to be the one that knocked him unk on. The trouble is it doesn't work so well for that. That will be clipped, but in strictly speaking, it's not the kill, is it, you know? Uh, Twitch Twitch viewers can be really pedantic, right? So if the last kill clip is me knocking somebody unconscious, somebody else will be going, That last kill clip isn't actually a kill! Why is that last kill clip there? It's not actually a kill, the guy didn't even die! <laughs> Remember to take a splint with you. I nearly went, I know I nearly got excited then over a pair of gloves that I'd just been wearing. Mini cooler. It's only the per it's only the pedant that sounds like that, not everyone. It's a bit like in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, only the pedant man will cross. <laughs> pedant, 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 yeah. Gamma? I'm the Alpha, baby. I am the Omega, baby. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. There you go. We only need the Tarooza. Trousers. Yeah, baby. Let's get rid of that. Bruce Almighty, yeah, it's from Bruce Almighty, isn't it? months of awesomeness, many more to come less than three. It seems like the red keys are a hell of a lot more common than the blue key. 
Like, I had four red keys the other day. I don't seem to ever get four blue keys, you know? I think I've only had, like, one blue key. John says, the current goal is tr I'm trying to get the alien gun that's on this particular map. Uh, and for that, I need a blue key, a red key, and a full NBC suit. That looks cool, doesn't it? Still, I'm still surprised how cool that looks. It won't look so cool now, though. But oh, it's actually working through the scope. That's not. That's kind of cool as well. Anyway, yeah, I've got a red key. I don't have a blue key, and I need NBC pants, the nuclear biological chemical suit dealy. So I need the pants, and I need the blue key. And the blue key is going to be the hardest thing, I think. It's going to going to be pretty tricksy to find. West Central Military Base. I don't know. Oh, the what the airfield whispers. What are those? They're zombies wearing flashlights. Fleshlights. Yeah, zombies with fleshlights in use right now. I have ammo. Big slick. Well, I, you don't have to have them, but you could only chamber it. It doesn't spawn with any mags. The mags are in the north, so I could go and get it, and then I could go and try and find a blue key afterwards, so we might do that. The downside to doing that is that you can only chamber it, and it doesn't have a scope or anything, so it's not really a sniper rifle. You kind of want the mag. Uh, on top of that as well, taking aside the fact that it, it wouldn't have a mag, uh, it weighs a fucking fuck ton. So if I pick it up and then I go on an adventure looking for mags afterwards, like, I'd have no stamina. Like, even compared to me now, you know, I'd have less stamina than this. Don't I need the head torch? What head torch? I never saw a head torch, did I? Or did I? I'll get the next one anyway, but I've got this. I could use this for now. It'd be alright. There's never anybody down there. It'd be fine. Oh, the Happy Bombs one. <laughs> Regan, you thought I was going for the NBC uh, news channel, yeah? No, I was going for the NBC, yeah? Uh... Right, we did drop the shotty, so we can drop the shotty shells. Uh, we did this run yesterday. I'm go <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go try and go to, like, Rabbit or something. Uh, but it's a hell of a long run, actually. It, it took us fucking ages yesterday. So we are... I'm kind of here, just the other side of these rocks. I'm about here. A little bit. It's a very long run, this. I'm actually not really wanting to do it, but I guess we ought to. Where else could we go instead? Let's have a quick look at the map. Oh, where the fuck are you? I've got too much stuff, haven't I? Doesn't sound like me. We could go to Joito Summer Camp. We could go... To Trebichava. This is where the... Uh, this is the base we need to go to, Area 2, where the mag is. And this is where Area 1 is, where the gun is. There. They couldn't be much further apart, really, but... The blue key can spawn anywhere on the map. I wonder if we might find a blue key around Eurovik or something like that. We might do. That These towns are going to be a bit dead now. Latkovcha and uh, Eurovik, you can't spawn. You used to be able to spawn here. You can't anymore. So I think the, the most easily you can spawn is here. I think we're going to carry on going where we were going to go. So let's do it. Unfortunately, this is like a 15-minute run. It's a very, very long run, but I think we've got to do it.
That summer camp is the best. Yeah, I don't know. CJ, I never really make any preconceived ideas about what will happen, like team up wise. You know, like it depends who I meet, where I meet them. You know, I, like I don't really, I, I don't make, I don't have a goal to team up or not. I'll just see who I meet and when I meet them, kind of thing. You know. Kind of needing a Wii again. I've not been ish today, no. Can confirm, no ishing has occurred. You prefer Sarah Moore's wood, not his wood pile, just his wood, eh? Dunk Funk, thank you, all the platonics. Right, let me catch up with the alerts. Uh, Regan, thank you for the bits and the NBC story as well, dude. Thank you. Uh, 14 months of awesomeness. Thank you very much, Bearded. Uh, Bearded Carper, thanks for the support, dude. Randall, thank you for the five. He didn't expect the window play. Like, like, like we said before, no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Danger, thank you for the 21 months. Captain Redbeard, thank you very much for the support. Rick Grimes, Bootleg, thank you very much. Regan and D9, thanks a lot for the support before that, guys. Thank you. Hard cops racing TV all the way. Especially since I'm yawning. Yeah, well, uh, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, Matty. That's what I think. Yeah, if, if it's the main telly in the pub, hard, hard corpse, I'd definitely leave the racing on. What kind of racing is there on a, what, like a fucking miserable Wednesday this time of year? Cheltenham was already gone, Aintree's in a, in a week or two. Like, it'll be like some shitty banded all-weather racing, or like terrible jumps racing with all the, all the horses that aren't good enough for Chelmsford or Aint sorry, for Cheltenham or Aintree, so the racing today is going to be fucking diabolical. At the running man, seven months of fun. Keep running, sir. File, thank you very much for the seven months. That's really kind. I'll do my best. Thank you for the support. I am Billy Kimber. <laughs> Those poor horses, uh, that's a debate I don't know if I want to have. I, I, I think they quite like it, to be honest, but maybe they don't in certain ways as well, you know. I, it's a debate I never want to enter, really. I used to like horse racing a lot because I used to be a gambler and I'm not anymore, but I don't know, like... I, I, Ill treatment of animals is very, very poor, right? And, like, when they're no longer able to race, not being able to find a home for a horse, and so it's put down. When, if and when that happens, that's very, very bad too, and it does happen. There are sides to horse racing that I really detest, you know, but it's, it's tricky, you know? Like, from a, from a point of view of, uh, like... What would happen if there was no, if if it's if it's cruel and it may be you know if we if we all stopped horse racing tomorrow, there'd be no race horses you know it's like a chicken and egg thing you know, it's a really like interesting conversation there you know like horse racing can be a bit dodgy but no horse racing means no horse races, no no horse racing means no race horses. Barry Kirikan, like thank you very much for the two months. That's really really kind. Thing. Thank you. I think that's what needs to happen, Uncle Food. There needs to be a much better system in place for that kind of thing. More eyes. Uh, I'm not. I think they could take the whips away and they could do things to make that better. And I can see your point of view, but uh, but there's a book coming. Of obviously, the, like without the horse racing, that horse would never be alive. You know, it's bred to be a horse race. So that doesn't make it okay to mistreat them. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm meaning is. You can't cancel the sport because it's like basically cancelling that breed. You know, they just no one's going to spend the money breeding horses like that. That to, if there's no horse racing, you know. But yeah, you're right. I, it is, there are elements of it that aren't fair. Absolutely.
derping what you could do. Exactly. Uh, like, like a, a, a chicken is bred to be uh, meat, you know? Like, and we slaughter it, hopefully, humanely and eat it, you know? But, like, equally, it wouldn't ever exist if we didn't breed it to eat it, you know? Cakeford, yeah, it nearly ruined me. That's why I don't gamble anymore. Yeah, I, I was a proper addicted gambler, yeah. But yeah, I, th I think to be fair, I, I don't. I, I'm not a horse rider, but my understanding of a horse racing is that most horses really actually do like running. That kind of is what they're bred for, you know. They they are bred as work animals, and whilst horse racing is maybe uh, not the not the fairest of things, they're probably getting a better life than pit ponies and like horses that were bred like 200 years ago in like Western times and whatnot. You know, like like they're probably getting a slightly better life than horses that have been bred for other jobs in the past. You know. Bruce Willis is stepping down from acting. What with with what's the cause? Is he ill or something, or is he just retiring? I hope he's all right. Dicko, I like both J jumps and flats. He's just old and shit, dude. Fom, you you should probably write like movie reviews. I'd say. Well, the good racehorses are treated like royalty. The bad racehorses are not, though. That's the thing, you know. For every horse that's treated like royalty, there's one that isn't. But there's more serious things going on in the world, but this doesn't make it not important, you know. Aphasia. I don't know what that is. I'd, I've never heard of aphasia. That's sad, though. Yeah, he's probably... Maybe that's why he's been doing every film he's been offered for the last five years, then. I think it's an interesting debate, but there is an ethical question that needs to be answered. To the, to the people that would say champion cancelling race horsing because it's ra horse racing because it's cruel, like taking away all the elements of it that aren't right. Is it better to never exist or to be a horse race horse? You know. Is it better to live till you're 20 and be a racehorse and do whatever you do in your life? Or is it better never to have existed? You know, which would you choose? It, it, like, what, what's the answer to that question? <laughs> well, it's me. Racehorses are bred specifically for horse racing. The breed exists for that, you know, like... It's a chicken and egg thing. Exactly, it is. It, it just is, you know. If you if horse racing got cancelled tomorrow, there'd still be lots of horses, but they wouldn't be the breeding pl platform there is now. There's, like, literally tens of thousands of horses bred around the world for horse racing every year. They would never live if they... Of course they wouldn't, you know. Of course they wouldn't. Is it wise and fair for people to be allowed to support Tottenham? <laughs> well, uh, I, I guess that's the thing. Is it better to like football and support Tottenham and enjoy the game but never win a thing, never see your team do well, always get constantly depressed and then start shouting for the manager to be sacked? Or is it better to just never like football at all? Because <laughs> they're basically the same thing. <laughs> being a Spurs fan is a lot like not being a football fan. That's what I heard. <laughs> Sorry, Spurs fans. It's not the same thing, actually, more eyes. I don't. We don't. We don't. We don't selectively breed humans, and certainly don't anymore. Anyway, let's hope we never did. But I don't agree. I don't agree with that statement uh, because I, no, I just don't see it as well. I, I think to to say that one is far worse than the other, even if you are thinking that it's bad, and I'm, you're entitled to that. Uh, like literally, no, I I don't see it your way, but. You're allowed to see it your way, it's fine. I'm not going to fall out with it over. I respect your opinions, but I don't think they're on the same level whatsoever. Whatsoever. Horses as a breed, like like people, slaves and uh, slavery, people weren't bred over centuries specifically for that role. And it was an awful, abhorrent thing, and it's disgusting that it ever happened. Horrible, horrible thing. But horses have been selectively bred over centuries, millennia, 
to be work animals, just like dogs, you know, like like pets in your house are, are bred to be like they are, you know, just like horses have been bred that way over a long time, you know. It's just not the same thing at all. They've been literally bred to 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 be used as a work animal. But I, I, I don't think we need emote any mode. It's okay. People are allowed their beliefs. I'm not falling out with you, more, right? I just don't see it your way, and that's okay, you know. I think it's cool to see someone passionate about stuff, you know, it's fine. Uh, Burnsy, thank you very much for the seven months, that's really kind. Andy, I, I can see your point of view. I, I'm not, I can, I, I think it certainly needs cleaning up a load. It's far from correct right now. Bonesy, yeah, I did say similar earlier, actually. So I, well, I actually need to check my compass, you know. That's not my compass. We could be going the wrong way. Oh, no, we're going. Okay. Guys, I'm going to have to go for a wee in a minute. I think we might pick a tree in a sec. I am in kind of like bear country here, so I've got to be a bit, little bit careful. Brian, I, I think that's very rose tinted as well, though. You know, for every horse that, uh, for every horse that gets it, makes the grade and wins some races and gets treated like royalty, there's a horse that never races and gets put down at a young age. You know, it, it's not quite as simple as that, dude. It, it, it really isn't. You know, not every horse that's bred for horse racing gets to be a race horse. You know, it's not so simple as that. Uh, anyway, uh, it's okay to see both sides a little bit. You know. Uh, guys, I'm going to nip for a wee. I guess I'll play some ads while I do that. I'm going to make a tea as well. I'll try not to be as long as last time. I won't be long.
a tiny bit quicker, but got to, got talking to Mrs. TRMZ. Hi Paul and everyone, been away from Twitch for a while but I've been enjoying the YouTube vids while I've been away. Glad to be back, keep on running. Texmec, dude, thank you for the 8 months, that's really really kind, thank you. Uh, Texmec, thank you again. Burnsy, thank you for the 7 months. Django, thank you. Django Ungamed, what a name. Uh, thank you for the Twitch Prime, Django. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Right, we've been here before. I'm going to get to the trees, have a quick look at the map. It is such a long run, this. It's longer than, than you think. But it would be nice to find a blue uh, a blue key, and we need the trousers for the gas zone stuff as well. The oven's on. I think it's getting close to dinner time. <laughs> Django on Gamed is a good uh, is a good name. I like that one. Although I, I don't really quite get the ungamed like it just sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds good, but I can't quite work out how I can use the word ungamed. But now I want to. <laughs> oh well, hello as well. Exactly says Django. Uh, Radio North Exile. So we are in the open somewhere around here. So KSI should be just down the hill. Rabbit should be just up from us. If we go straight east, assuming we're, we're going to be close, we must be in some of this. I'm guessing around here somewhere in the edge of the tree. So straight east to, to that. Rabbit's to the north. All is well. Uh, Nick B, not entirely, no. It's really empty because I'm doing the run I'm doing. There's loads in Banoff. But what I'm doing right now is like going, I don't know, from... Uh, trying to think of a good analogy, really. But it's like I'm going from Starry Sobor to Tissy without going anywhere else in between. I'm going in a straight line. So there are other places around, but I'm choosing to avoid them all to go straight to somewhere, you know. There, it is a little bit more sparse than Chernerus, but it, that's partly the nature of it being a bigger map, you know. Uh, it's a, it is a bigger map. Uh, but this particular journey is is trying to go a particular way on purpose, you know. Geekin Zombie, thank you very much for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. You're very, very kind. Thank you for gifting those subs. We really are creeping close to uh, 5k again. Not been there for a... Maybe we have been there, I don't know, three or four weeks back. I don't know, it feels like a while, but I could be wrong. Anyway, thank you. I'm a bit hungry. Uh, Geekin, thank you very much. Junglist. Yeah, just just look at the trees, dude. Bob Ross knew the knew the right answer, right? Just just find happiness in, in the trees. <laughs> There's a happy little bush right there. It's time to start 
Thank you, Geekin. Well, thank you for coming in again. Guys, if you're having this really, uh, like, serious debate about existential things like how we're all owned by God knows whatever, you know, like, it's pretty heavy stuff for a Twitch stream. Well, we have covered some heavy topics today, but you've been asked by mods to drop it in the chat and you're not doing it, so you need to do that, you know. There's loads of places you can have really heavy debates. It's quite interesting in some ways. Bullet point answers that make you feel like you're just full stopping every sentence with a, like, like a one minor doesn't really help much, but... Take it to DM and take it out of the chat, guys, okay? That would be good. I'm like a mule climbing mines. Don't bring us back to that. We've just covered racehorse and I can't fucking do mules as well. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, I'm not doing mules. Holy shit. This looks like it might be the town. Am I into pizzas? Hi, Rashi. Uh, I like uh, I, I like veggie pizzas, to be honest. I, I, unfortunately, I'm a bit uh, ruined on pizza because I have to have fucking gluten-free bases. But I, I have to be gluten-free because I get a bad tummy if I have any gluten. But uh, I like veggie ones, to be honest. If I'm going for like a more of American or a, a more of a non-Italian style pizza. Then I, I like like a proper thin like Italian style pizza. I like almost any of them. They're good. Uh, I quite like spicy meats as well. Spicy meats can't beat that. But for more of like a like a sort of pizza you'd get from like Domino's or Papa John's type pizza, I like I like veggie myself. Like like all the vegetables. Because I don't really like those style of pizzas very much to be honest. But that's the one I kind of like. In fact, I'm a bit hungry. The, the the oven's on downstairs and something's in it. I presume it's something that goes in pita bread. So I don't know what I'm getting. It's Let's face it, it's going to be chicken or sausages. It normally is. I like prop... My favourite type of pizza, Riv, is uh, proper thin crust Italian. Pizza that you get when you go to Italy. The, my favourite pizza I've ever had, and I I wanted to go back on another day, and they were we were there we were there for three days. But on the first day, I had this amazing pizza. It was near Lake Maggiore in uh, Italy, but it was northern Italy, like on the the lakes that kind of separate Italy from Switzerland. Uh, it was beautiful there. The lakes were like crystal clear. You could see to the bottom and stuff. It was really nice. But anyway, I I had this pizza, and where we stayed, I can't remember the name of the town, but it was on Lake Maggiore, and the uh, uh, the town was obviously full of tourists, loads of people there. And they kind of catered to, like, the Swiss, the German and the Italian tastes mostly because of where it was. It just seemed to be that way. Uh, and I had this pizza, like Italian pizza, and it was it was fairly simple, like normal cheese and tomato base. And it had, like, German sausage on it, like German uh, bratwurst type sausage or some kind of sausage. A bit like a Frankfurt type sausage, whatever it was. And they were cut horizontally in strips, so they were like long and very, very thin strips of sausage on this pizza. And it was one of the very best things I've ever put in my mouth. It was so fucking good. I've never had a pizza anywhere near as good as that pizza again. It was the best pizza I've ever had. It was some kind of verst, yeah, but it, it was so good. Just German sausage on a fairly plain pizza. It was fucking orgasmic. It was so good, and uh, well, that was the first. That was like the Friday, and they were like, we were there like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And on the Saturday, I was like, "Can we please go back to that same restaurant? That pizza was the best thing I've ever had. I really want it again." And my ex said, "Well, let's try somewhere else, and then we'll go there tomorrow." And that seemed like a decent enough deal, so I was all right then. And then tomorrow came, and they were full, and they were they were full with like no bookings, no room, and and that ruined my life. <laughs> it was so good. It was it was so so good. I haven't actually tried to recreate it. That's something I really should have done. Now, it's a bit more tricky now because I can't have the base, but I ought to try and recreate it. One problem with it is that most Frankfurter sausages have uh, have gluten in, or certainly the ones you get in the UK, the kind of cheap packet ones do. Is that why us two divorced? I, it's been... It's been uh, <laughs> It's been timed out, but I think that's a joke. You're all right. Don't worry. I can see why it was timed out, Nick P. But no, I can confirm that we didn't divorce because she cost me an Italian pizza. And no, I can confirm that much. <laughs> uh, 
let's keep that drop that. I did try some New York pizza, yeah, I did. I, I don't really I don't really like uh, mo most of the other types. I only had like a, a, a slice of pizza from a stall or something. I, I, I didn't really have it very much. It wasn't top of my list, even though I was going to New York, to be honest. I, I wanted meats when I, I was thinking about more like, not because it was New York, just because it was America. Where I think of America, I think of barbecue, you know, I think of meat, I think of, uh, I think of stuff like that. Oh, she, she fucking moved. Oh yeah. I tried to melee, melee with the pistol and it wouldn't let me. And then I just did the exact same thing again, you know. Tried to melee a second. Oh yeah. <laughs> tried to melee with the pistol and it wouldn't let me do it and then the answer to that seemed to be to try and do it again like a thick twat I, I've been around Naples see Jacks I've, I've never stayed in Naples I've, I've been I've been to the Amalfi Coast which is not very far away and I've had some decent stuff around there food wise pizza wise and whatnot I stayed in halfway up the hill from the I forget the name of the town we stayed in but I've been to Pompeii and I've been around the area a little bit, but never stayed in Naples. Just flew in there and then got the car out. I think it was Sorrento. It was Sorrento. Yeah, halfway up. There was a there was a little bit where they filmed some of uh, one of the Phantom Menace things as well that was up there, like on a cliff edge. It was really good. And it was we. It, no, it was Ravello. It was Ravello. Dave, you're right. It wasn't Sorrento. It was Ravello. It was Ravello, that's where we were. We stayed in this brand new hotel. Uh, Sophie, my daughter, was about 19 months old. We stayed in this brand new hotel and it only opened that week and they had like all these Versace cushions on, on the chairs in the dining room. It was really fucking fancy. Way bit more than I could afford. But we st it was cheap because it was still like in the process of opening. We didn't pay full price. And uh, Sophie was like 19 months and still in nappies, and and she weed on one of the Versace cushions. <laughs> that ni nice opening, ni no opening christening christening for their, their cushions. It was really nice there, and uh, there's a very well known. Well, I th I think she's very well known. There's a quite a well known cook in uh, that that was based in Ravello called Mama Agata. and she's like a really quite well known chef. She used to have like a chef school. She may not be alive anymore. She was quite old then. This was like 12, no, 2011 maybe. 11 years ago, something like that. Uh, and my, she uh, she did the food for my sister's wedding. Because we were there because my sister was getting married. She got married on the Amalfi Coast. So uh, that's that was the reason we were there. And we had the wedding kind of like do at hers. And like at her, in her like back garden effectively. And the food was just amazing. That was a zombie don. It was a zombie with a chest vest. Sorry, a zombie with a stab vest running. It was so good. Like, like there was like deep fried. Uh, what are those flowers that you get? The deep fried. Oh, I forget what the fucking flower is. It's a vegetable that you eat. Is it? It's not aubergine. It's uh, courgette flour. Or zucchini flour, if you're uh, if you're using Daisy speak, they were amazing. They were they, they were so good. Oh god, that that was a good meal. The only problem with that meal was that I was a bit drunk before it started. After after the, <laughs> I've I've talked about this before, but. After the wedding, we had some drinks at this bar at, in Ravello, or this this sort of cafe, and we kind of had lunch there, and then we had the evening meal at this at this Mamaragata's place, which was beautiful. But in the lunch, I was already like drinking a bit too much red wine, and I got stuck in the toilets because I went in the door. It, they were very small cubicles, and they were, I, 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 I slid the door open and uh, went in, went for a wee. And then I unlocked the door, and I was trying to open the door, and I was trying to open the door, and I was trying to open the door for about five minutes. And I'd not, we hadn't had dinner by then, lunch by then, so I'd, I'd been to my sister's wedding, I was probably full of, like, adrenaline and emotions and whatnot. 
had like two drinks and I already felt like, well, probably more like three drinks, but I already felt like half cut. And uh, I was standing at this door trying to open it and open it and I just couldn't get it open. And in the end, I was getting like a little bit distressed. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I started banging and banging and banging on the door and banging on the door. I just couldn't get out. And the observant among you will have heard me say, I slid the door open. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to open the door, and I couldn't do it, and then this nice Italian lady came and slid the door open, at which point I was, like, absolutely crestfallen. I was, like, <laughs> absolutely crestfallen about about the stupid English pig stuck in the sliding doy toilet, you know. <laughs> uh, it, it was, uh, oh, fuck, it wasn't very clever on my part. Thankfully, we weren't staying there all day, so I didn't have to stay there very long. Yeah, I don't think I'd be allowed back in there. I nearly broke their door down. Oh, fuck. I don't believe it. Maybe you did see a guy. I'm not getting up from this, no way. Don't shoot, if you can hear me, don't shoot. I'll surrender. Oh, no way, what a, what a miss that was. Oh, no way, Paul, you idiot! I don't think he's dead. I can't believe I just missed those other two shots. They were horrendous misses. We got away with it though, so that's the main thing. I can't, I'm annoyed I missed those. If I'd, if I'd have not missed them, then I could have used the suppressor. Fucking hell, Paul. Oh, the, the second person's definitely nearby.
Right, moving the mic away. I'm going to eat for a bit, guys. I don't think I'm going to be geared for long. anywhere I can be here where I'm not in front of a fucking window. No idea what I got shot with, but given it knocked me unconscious straight away, it has to be Mosin, SVD, uh, Tundra, Blaze on double shot, maybe. He probably won't need his buddy's gear. So normally about this time, lots of people start giving me loads of suggestions as what to do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat my dinner. I ought to stop moving around quite so much. Pick a spot and go for it. But yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to eat my sandwiches, or chicken burgers in this case, in pita bread. I'm going to wait and see if uh, he tries to push. Whatever gun it was that shot me, it, it might have not been that guy that did it. If he hits me again now, I'll die. Obviously, but I'm waiting till my health gets better. If I were him, I'd be trying to get some height and look into these windows. Probably over there. Maybe on that building there, actually. It's time to start rolling! I chicken gluten free, Kipo. Are chickens gluten free? They definitely are, yes. BL Jeffries, what's common? Oh, common, what's common? No, Nando, yeah, that's what most people do. They have all these good suggestions. But the right thing to do right now is to heal up, let my health get back to white, and uh, wait them out. the jump in.
he didn't nade the wrong house. He tried to nade this house and didn't get the grenade in the window. I ain't got time for talking as I'm trying to ram food down my gun over. Village, dude, thank you for the resub. It's time to start running. Much love, Paul. The event video was great. Romaine, thank you very much for the resub, dude. Thank you for checking out the vid. Thank you. Village Idiot, thank you for the tier three resub. Carly and Lurig, thank it's you for the resub. Shunny, thank start. you for the resub. Or Sunny, sorry, thank you for the re new sub. If he'd naded himself, we'd have heard it. Oh ma'am, I don't think it makes a lot of odds. I'm not going to need a great... I'm not going to have to run away, am I? You know, I, I, right, I've finished eating, by the way, guys. I'm not going to have to run away from him, so... I could take that off. I could... Uh, the other gun's probably kind of... But what do I need stamina for? I'm I'm stuck in a house because a guy just shot me to red health, you know. I'm keeping this gun because at some point he's going to go to his mate's body and I need this gun on me. Like his buddy's got grenades. 
at some point he's going to get that idea, isn't he? You know, he's going to like, well, that grenade didn't work. I believe he's not gone for that. I'd have gone for that. I'd have, I'd have gone up the hill to my left and gone on Overwatch. <coughs> We've done this actually recently on on the same map. We managed to get a higher position to shoot somebody in a building like this. Rogue Jenks, thank you for the 10 months. Fear, thank you very much for the support as well. Sunny, before that, thanks all of you guys. Goes up that hill then somewhere. Holy fuck! <clears throat> so he's he's on the hill over there somewhere. Is there a back door to that? Oh, please tell me there's a back door. There's only one way out of this house. Irish Medic, thank you very much for the support. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Try talking to him. American Pixel, he's about 100 metres from me, I guess. <clears throat> Based on me peeking and the, the sort of delay from the shot, he's, he's not in VoIP range. Guys, lots of suggestions are going to come through, but the only... The only thing I can write now is hope his suppressor runs out. I think that's the gun that uh, knocked me unconscious, his gun. That's a powerful gun, whatever it is. I think that's the one. But anyway, the only thing I can do right now is uh, not look in that window anymore. Wait till my health's better, and then I'm going to have to try and risk going out the front door. I, I Or wait and hope he pushes, but there's nothing else I can do. I can't do anything else because I'm yellow health, and he's full health, and he knows where I am, and I don't know where he is, you know. There's not much I can do with that, you know. Can't keep going in there either. That's that's going to get me killed through that window. It's one of those occasions where I actually wish I had a smoke grenade. It's insane how many people want to tell you what to do when the only right thing to do is exactly what I'm doing. There's one door out, it's on the front door, the dude's up the hill and he's aiming at the door and the windows. So I've either got to wait until he pushes, wait until he moves and I can see him out this window, or I've got to wait until my health's full and then probably run out and butch and sundance it, at which point I'll probably die. Exactly, Uncle Food. Even if I die, what I'm doing now is the only correct option. 
there's lots of different ways to play the game, but if you red health, and you, you've got to get in the nearest building, you know. I'm lucky I managed to kill that dude, because we potatoed a lot of shots against him. Well, I potatoed a lot of shots, but I'm lucky I killed him, uh, because his mate was around, and so he wasn't sure I was sweet shooting at him, you know. The suppressor is what saved me. So it, it was probably a 2v1, now it's a 1v1, but that guy knows where I am. He can be anywhere. He also doesn't know how healthy I am as well, but... One thing that might work in my favour, if I stop moving, he might just think I've uh, logged out or something and, and give up and come in. But all the other suggestions are the imp uh, suggestions of someone that doesn't want to accept the one true fact of DayZ. The, the impatient guy in a firefight is the one that loses. Nine out of ten. If you try some kind of rush, you're the one that dies. If you're not... If you're not fully healthy and you try and do something aggressive, you're the one that dies. Nearly always. In this sort of scenario, in a standoff. And the one that's got the more information is the is the one that's doing better. He's got more information than I have. He knows exactly what house I'm in. He knows what windows to aim at. I don't know where. He could be anywhere on the hill. He's got a suppressor. All I know is he's somewhere over there. And he could have moved since then, you know. I have very little to go on. But what I know is this. I know my health needs to be full. Because if he shoots me when my health's full, I don't die. Unless he hits me in the head, of course. But he shot me in the chest, and because I had the plate carrier on it, put me to red health. So, if I can get up close to full health again, if he shoots me in the chest, I won't die. Will I? I'll only go on con. So, there's that. I feel like it might be an even more powerful gun. It might be the MAR-10. Because, if it was a regular Tundra or, some, or a Mosin, I think they would have known to finish me off. Because there was two of them, and because they, they would have known I would have got killed, I think. But... I think they've shot me with a Martin and assumed I've died because it's so powerful. That's kind of what I think. But there's only one play here. What The, the most likely outcome in this scenario is that I'm going to die. But the way to maximise my chances is to let my health come up before I do anything. Uh, and then hope he makes the mistake, hope he pushes, thinks I've logged out or flanks around so I can see him through this window, you know. That... It's, it's really tricky, but we're already back to white temperature instead of yellow, which is very good. Redline, dude, it would help me no end, yeah. It wouldn't be so bad if they... if, if I, I, I'm not really bothered by backseating. It's just understanding that I know what I'm doing sometimes and listening to what I say and then, then thinking, actually, well, maybe I can see his point rather than just going, well, I've only got ten minutes to watch, so throw a grenade, do a 360. Why don't you cartwheel out the front door with your, with your hands up and just go, I surrender? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's it's Daisy, and it? it's not uh, it's not shooty muck shoot 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 game. It's not Fortnite, you know. In the time it's going to take me to uh, get my health back and think about something I could do in this game, you could have won a round of Fortnite or PUBG or done a whole round of Tarkov. I guess that's the way it is, you know. Now I hasten to add that there are different levels of game. There, I'm not saying Tarkov is arcadey before someone gets their knickers in a twist. I'm just kind of making the point, you know, it, it's slow paced because it's the game.
I'd like to pop a profiterole. A, a popping a profiterole would be nice. How long for full health? Oh, about 15 minutes, probably 10, 15 minutes. So, I don't think it'll work, but if he's overwatching, maybe he'll have seen where that explode. Maybe he'll think that I've died to a grenade. So now what I can't do is show myself to the window and hope that that ruse works. Pappy, I don't really want to start pissing around trying it in front of the window in case he's moved to the back. I'm not really bothered about the loot. I just don't want to die, Bond lad. I don't want to die. Irish, dude, thank you very much for the support. Flyer, thank you for the bits. Irish Medic, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Guys, I'm tabbed out for a sec. If he, if he pushes now, I'm fucked. Let's put my voice meter headphones sound up a bit. TGR, he won't think someone's whoosh, rushed me, dude. This is the kind of the point. I, I, how can he possibly think he's, someone's rushed me when he can see the door? Dude. The fucking cloaking device, invisible mat. Harry Potter's rushed me without opening the door. The only door that this building's got. The only door this building's got. And he's overwatching it from the side where the door is. So Harry Potter's put his cloak on, opened the door and shut it before, like, in the time he blinked. And then rushed me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whereas the thought that maybe I might try and throw the grenade out and it bounce off and stay in the house seems more plausible, you know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, there's no point shooting. The other thing that could happen, I guess, if I shoot, I could attract other players. The one thing that you, the, the the only benefit really I have right now is that I'm in here. He's outside trying to overwatch. So by being in here, like if another player comes along, he can't. Uh, like another player goes along, he's up. He's the one that's outside. He's not got a house to be defending. You know, he if he's on a hill and he tries to shoot, the, the only thing is he's got a suppressor, so his location is relatively safe. He seems to have found himself a spot that he's happy with and he's just not moving from it. Well, in theory, because I'm as close to that body as I am, that body's not going to despawn. Can I tell if the body's looted? Well, he only had a pistol in his hand, so I can't see the guns gone. I can't see the guns on his back from there. But his grenades are all on the vest. And if I was somebody trying to kill me, the first thing I'd go to that body for is the vest and the grenades. Not the vest, but the grenades that are on it. And I can see the grenades all on there. So I don't think he's been to the body. We're a long way from where you can spawn. The, the other guy, his mate getting back, would take him well over an hour, I think. So we ain't got to worry about that. Kill Phil, dude, thank you very much for the gifted subs, man. You're incredibly kind. Thank you very, very, very much, dude. Cheers for the continued support, man. Thank you. It was 50 as well. Holy fuck, dude. That's put me to 5k. Fuck me dead, dude. Thank you very much. I've had a good year. Congratulations, man. Thank you very, very much, dude. You're insanely kind. I don't know what to do here. There's no way he's going to just let me come out the front door. I'm still not full health. I don't think I can get out of those windows because they're quarter windows, right? The window... May maybe. There is that brown log cabin where the windows are a bit like that. You can get through them. It's time to Slime, thank you very much for the new sub, dude. It just, does this door open in or out? If the door opens out, there's nothing I can do. Hill Phil, thank you very, very much once again. Slime One, dude, thank you for the Prime sub as well. You're insanely kind too. Irish, uh, Flyer, thank you for the bits and the resub. Irish, once again, thank you for the support. Rogue Gents and Fear, thanks for the for the resubs. And Sunny, thank you for the new sub. I've got an EpiPen. My problem, my problem with the EpiPen is this. The door is, like, not very wide, and if it opens, he knows I'm coming through it. So, as soon as I, as soon as the door opens, he's aiming at the door. It's right? As soon as the door opens, he's aiming at the door. So, if I go out there, I'm dead. There's no way I'm... That, do you know what I mean? But, what I want to do, if I'm going to go out the door, I absolutely, absolutely have to be full health. Not, like, I've just gone up it's to my segments now full, but I'm not full health, right? But... If I'm going to push out that door, I've got to be completely full health. And then I might give it a go, but until that point, 
it would be absolutely crazily dumb to do that. My health is not full lowing. My my I'm about eighty percent health right now. If I shoot to get a bunch of Zeds, then when I try to leave myself, I'm going to have to negate the bunch of Zeds. So, if he was very close to my building, shooting to, to aggro a bunch of Zeds might be a good idea. Open the door, stay inside, look what happens. Yep, good plan, except for the fact that the door's at the end of a corridor, which is very narrow. And because I think the door might open outwards, and I can't remember, if it does open outwards, I can't then shut it. <laughs> so, if that door... I don't know if it opens in or out. I think it opens out. If it opens out... No, it might open in. There's no way I know. But anyway, if it opens in, I can open it and then very quickly close it. But if it opens out, I'm fucked, aren't I? Like, if it opens out, right, once I've stood here, I open it. And then I can't shut it without effectively walking out of the door to then shut it. You see what I mean? You know, like... Like, this is easy, right? I can easily do that. But if I'm this side... You know, I've got to come round and do that to shut it. It's not, it's not going to work, is it? He is going to do something. Sooner or later, he's going to get impetuous. He's going to get impatient and do something. He's got to. I'd have gone for that house there. I'd have gone for that house roof. I really would, but maybe I'm a bit too aggressive at times. Certainly not right now. Manglorious, he's staring at the front of the house. As soon as I open the door, he will be. It's time to start running! I'm nearly at full health. I'm kind of nearly ready to just give it a try, but I suspect we're in trouble. I wish I had a few more Mosin rounds. See what I mean? He's still in the same place, still covering the same thing. I'm not full health, Grace. That's not how the health bar works. When that arrow stops going up, I'll be full health. Right now I'm about 82, 83% health, I guess. I know which way I'm going to run when I... There's no point planning the escape route because I can't remember the topography of the map properly, but I need to get behind this house as quickly as possible. Trouble is, the second I vault something, I am absolutely f cooked, you know, like... Trying to vault that shed... Sorry, that fence right down there. If I had to vault that fence, I'm dead.
See, I don't know exactly where he is. My guess is that he's nearly level with the house, and if anything, he's slightly right of it, but I don't know. I've not definitely won this or anything. He's still he's still sniping down into there, but we don't know exactly where he is. I could still get killed by this dude. I've left my Mosin behind as well, but I can't shoot it right now anyway. Not used to seeing you with that much stamina. Uh, God's Equal. Sh Sunny, thank you so much, both of you guys, for the support. God's Equal, thank you for the 30 months. Sunny, thank you for the very, very long resub, dude. Thank you very much. He's going to be crouched or prone, probably in a bush. Should be right behind him. Fucking see him. He's a, he's got to be still here. He was still here just a second ago, wasn't he? Like I leaned, I, I came around and he shot me just before I went out. He tried to shoot me just before I went out. He has to be up here.
Damn it. That nearly backfired. I was so desperate to be like, put your fucking gun down, you know? I wanted to have him with a drop your fucking gun kind of thing, you know? And, and like, interrogate him, but I think he heard me as I kind of fell over the rock. Mosin. Could have been the Mosin. That would have made sense. It was something as powerful as a Mosin, like I said. So the Mosin probably makes sense. I suppose he's got a blue key or anything, is he? He's very geared. Yeah, the bleed doesn't matter. It's only from a it's only from a foot injury. The bleed doesn't matter because it's a uh, it's from where I was trying to creep down without my boots on. I was so worried then, because what I was doing was incredibly risky, right? It was incredibly risky, but the payoff felt so worth it. The payoff there was, like, absolutely fucking making him feel like, like an absolute twat. Because what I wanted to do was sneak in behind him and be like, turn around and you're dead kind of thing, you know? I, I've done it in the past, but not for a long time. But to get exactly behind him and then give him the turn around and you're fucking dead business, you know, would have been epic. Uh, it would have been epic, but I just couldn't quite, uh, I couldn't get close enough because I was too fucking loud with my great big fat feet. Yeah, you can get, if you, if you don't fix the bleed, you'll get the uh, blood infection, uh, LJ. Or the chance of a blood infection. It's not guaranteed, but it's likely. I cannot believe we've come out the other side of that. And one thing that worked there as well, he was so confident waiting on the hill like that. Excuse me, the reason he was so confident waiting on the, waiting on the hill like that is because I'd been in there so very long. There's no way he was thinking he was going to get flanked. He wasn't even looking for it. And he wasn't even looking for it because I'd taken my time so much, you know? Like oh, that sucks. That really sucks. The body's despawned. We only get one lot of loot now. The guy that died there might have had the blue key or something, you know? Fucking cool, holy shit. What scope does he have on it? He's got the same scope. So, we've got hood, we've got that. Get the jacket as well. We'll put the jacket down here too. I still need pants. Neither of them had pants. Or the guy I could loot didn't have pants anyway. Oh, fucking hell. That really does feel good, that one. I'm really quite pleased about that. That was cool. Day Z underscore expert donated five dollars. 
Next YouTube title, How 15,000 Hours Turn You Into Harry Potter to Teabag Bush Wookies. <laughs> Harry Potter Bush Wookie business, right? All right, uh, you can go there for now. So we've got loads of filters. We just need the pants. We still need the pants, unfortunately. Uh, still need to sort out some more shit. God, that, I bet he's right pissed off. He's probably thinking it was a second party. There's no way well he thinks played. it was me. Thank you very much, by the way. Thanks a lot. Shrimp, cheers for the support. Thank you. Uh, Daisy Expert, thanks for the tip. And Harry Potter is uh, sound advice, I think. <sighs> the other body despawned when I got further away, unfortunately, yeah. Because I got more than 100 metres away from the body, it despawned. If I'd have still been in the house, the body would have still been there. But I got too far away from it and it and it despawned as a result. Where's my amphibia? Oh, it was on the road, wasn't it? I had the amphibia in my hand when they, the dude knocked me on con. I don't even need it. We'll just use this and we'll... Uh, We'll keep the bullets from the mags in a minute, and then I'll just use that for now. You can get loads of ACP rounds pretty easy, so we'll do that. I'm just trying to decide what else I need to keep. Oh, you can go there. Holy shit, that was cool. Dirty Hobo, whatever it is, don't worry about it, dude. A, t a purge in a Twitch chat is irrelevant, so I really wouldn't worry about it, you know? Like, you're still here, you're not You're not banned. I, w I wouldn't worry about it. Like, arguing about it or questioning it with the mods. Maybe, uh... uh maybe you made a joke that just missed the mark or whatever. I don't know what it was, but uh, don't worry about it. You're still here, you know? A timeout or a, a purge in a Twitch chat is not that big of a deal, you know. I've had them and never been a big deal to me, you know. Just don't let it get to you is the, the best idea. I don't think the guy on the hill had MVGs. We can go back and double check his body in a minute, but uh, that that was so fucking fun. Always amazed by your tactics. Well done. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cheers for the kind words and thank you for the bits, Neek. Thank you very very much. Right, I need to I need to eat a little bit more and just. I've, I'm carrying far too much stuff right now. That is obvious. Uh, I'm going to go back and get my Mosin because my Mosin's got is pristine and this one's not. He could, of course, have a buddy. They might have been three, but I don't think so. It's funny, just before I saw his barrel, I was thinking, there's a bush right by a tree there. It's hard cover and a bush. If I was going to go somewhere, I'd pick that. And then I saw his barrel glistening. I was like, <laughs> I wish I'd said it out loud, but I thought it. I exactly thought it, just as I saw it. But there we are.
Race, uh, I didn't rant about anything, but here's an idea. Why don't you just piss off to another stream? <laughs> I wasn't ranting, I was talking. I was quite happy, quite, quite chipper, no problem. And the most obvious thing, if you mean the window, I was prepared to try the window, if that's what you mean. But I was waiting for my health to come back irrespective, so I didn't waste half an hour. I wanted my health back, but you can go somewhere else, dude. You'd... If you want to be a know-it-all, great. Start your own stream, get everything right, and, and appease everyone in a chat with 4,000 people in it. Good luck with that, you know, because you'll get 100 different pieces of advice, and you'll never get to play the game yourself. Lucky you. Please me! <laughs> uh, we did briefly talk about, somebody suggested about the sofa, but I wasn't going to try it, irrespective, at first. Why would I, you know? I'm waiting for my health to come back. Is it tea? Which one was he in? He ran up. I think he was there. That bush there, maybe. Yeah, he was, because I came over that rock. So frustrating that the rock made a noise. If I'd managed to get, if I'd managed to get over that rock quietly, I think we'd have done him there. I love it when people say I rant when I'm just talking, you know. I, I, the mods did the did the uh, emote only, and rightly so, but I'm just sitting in here talking, you know. I'm quite happy. I just came through the door, and I still don't know which way the door opens. In. Lace is out. <laughs> I don't think he decided to move because he saw the body go. He say, decided to move because he heard me. I, I was worried I was going to make a noise of, like, shivering. And I, I did. Uh, so I kind of went over the rock and my character shivered. I think he will have heard one or the other. Half an hour wasted while you could have tried something else. It's amazing, isn't it? So... If I'd gone half an hour earlier and been red or yellow health when I did it, that makes me an OG player, but waiting for my health to come back makes me a like a douche or something, I don't know. Good to know. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. I might take those. And then I think we'll uh, we'll get to fuck. Oh, I never checked for NVGs. I don't think he's got them. No, he hasn't got MVGs. <sighs> right, let's go. Suspicious ferret. I'm not seeing many people give me grief, but to be fair, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather be the, uh, the the one with the, the the stream and the views and playing the game than the one in the chat acting fucking smart, casting aspersions. You know, I'd rather be me. That's all right. <laughs> and it's only that one dude. I've not read a load. It's been fine. It's been good. I enjoyed that. And that encounter was a lot. It also was pretty good time, timing as well because I could eat my uh, eat my dinner while my health came back as well, which was pretty cool.
Uh, my, 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 I already repaired my vest, dude. I don't need to repair it anymore. It's, I did it while I was in the house. See, that the trouble is, some of the clips that I've got for epic moments that might be made could almost, that could almost be a video on its own. It, it was, it's very slow going. I, I wouldn't leave all of the waiting in the house, but like two or three minutes of waiting, you know, but. Doing what chat tells you. Shame, shame. Great and a powerful dude. I am severely making mistakes, you know, and I, if I'd have just rushed and got quill quicker, it would at least made him happy, you know. Uh, anyway. Pa great and the powerful dude. Thank you very much. Cheers for the 30 months. Kill Phil, thank you again. Cheers for the gifted sub to Mr. Jones. Uh, Clump Terror, thank you for the follow. Widespread, thank you for the gifted subs. You're very, very kind. Uh, and I've not seen everybody else, but thank you. Might have been a bit harsh to ban the dude, but I'm just not in the mood for, like, know-it-allism, you know? Like, I, I... We've had a few chats today where I'm happy to listen to people's opinions and express mine. Now, I'm quite happy to sort of... If you want to express an opinion about stuff like that, sort of say, I'd have done this. Any thoughts on why you didn't do this? I'd have done that, you know, rather than... Not that impressive. Do half an hour waiting before you do the fucking obvious thing. That's not how you express an opinion, is it? You know. <laughs> right. I'm not. Might not be at the town. I think I'm at. Zavada. Okay. We need to go south. I've gone the wrong fucking way. Uh, so we're here, and I need to go here. I thought we had to go north to Revit, but we're at the other town. That's cool, and one thing it does prove, like we were talking yesterday, Doc was suggesting that, uh, and, and it's his opinion, he, he's not wrong to express it, there is a lot more action down south, but he was kind of saying it's really quiet up north, yet we've had firefights in towns like this quite regularly lately. There seems to be geared people quite a lot around, you know? That was fun, that was really, really fun. We're a little bit slow now. I think there's some kind of bug with the game or something because I don't seem to be able to run. Seems a bit bugged. Vasilis, thank you very much for the bits. We're kind of shocked that people didn't suggest to go out and quickscope. Well, to be honest, probably someone was thinking it. <laughs> Anyway, I, it, it's only a handful of people, and some people are suggesting things that make sense, you know? Like, I think I, I want the interaction. I really do. I just, a little bit of, uh, like, he said he needs to wait for his health, so let's just chill out and talk about some random shit, you know? That that would be great, but it never it's never going to happen. The, the, the busier your stream gets, the more backseating you get, so in a way, it's kind of a good thing, you know? It sounds stupid, but it means the stream's growing, and that's good. Dit man mass. Uh, there's this thing called uh, sarcasm. Donny, ar around that, some are a little bit more. I think some are a little bit less, but around that, yeah. going to use one just to get a little bit away from here. It's not very far south of the town where we need to be. Warrior 20. Lottie's got about 10k hours. I actually messaged her to ask her so I could get an accurate figure for the YouTube title. So Lottie has 10k hours. I have... My 13 is conservative though. I'm pretty sure I have like more like 14-ish, but I, I, it's at least 13. Anthrax, yeah, I need the blue key and I need the pants. That's exactly what I need. Wool sort, yeah, I just mean there's more of you. That's the thing, there's more of you. <laughs> I 
Meeple, yeah, if you're leaving the Daisy server client daily open, then it's probably ticking up your hours. But I turn the game on. Sorry, I turn my PC on. I log on to Steam. I join a Daisy server. I play all day, and then I log off Steam. You know, I, I don't even game when I'm not streaming these days, really. Like, not well, not on a PC anyway. Like, occasionally I play the Switch with my kids if they bring it for like half term, like holidays or something. But yeah, I uh, I don't do a great deal of gaming to be honest. I'll, I'll be playing Daisy loads if I weren't a streamer, but I am, you know. <laughs> I get to pl I get to do it now. Uh, anyone know when the new Daisy patch is? There won't be a set date. They'll they'll be to keep doing little inc incremental changes. In the patch notes, there are some known bugs like cooking bugs, animation bugs, and such like. You know. They're not going to launch the, the patch to stable until they've probably ironed out some of those things. So, could be 10 days, could be 3 weeks, but somewhere around there. Have they actually, in April 19th, oh, they've announced the wipe day, have they? Well, there you are then, so they're up against it. So, I, I've said what I said, and now it turns out not to be true. So, April the 19th is the wipe day. What date is April the 9th? That's April the 11th is a Monday, so it's uh, Tuesday, I think. So it's like the day after, like, so it's the day after Easter Monday. John's K Kirk and Khan. That was a little bit like the end of the event. Kirk and Khan searching for each other. Me and uh, me and Dark Spade circling the base, searching for each other. I'd say. Well, yeah, I did lie, Ezard. I haven't seen the Twitter. Someone was talking. I don't know if they tweeted today about the the uh, the wipe or if it's in an update on the forum or something. But I've not seen it. But it's. I'm glad they've said there's going to be a wipe because I think it's needed. Paddy, it's uh, it's actually shells for the Singularity cannon. They're in like an ammo box. That's just what it looks like. It's the Singularity cannon ammo box. So there's five lots of these in there. So I actually have 35 bullets for the for the alien gun. Uh, what I don't have is the the blue key, so I can't get mags. And I also don't have the uh, trousers I need. I'm hoping we'll get the, the trousers for the NBC here. This is what we've come here for. Do I really want to swap just because the backpack is pristine? going to do some of the bigger stuff and then I'll just double click the rest. Uh, Zio, I don't take binoculars. I don't see the point. I, I've, I've got a scope on this gun, which works really well, similar to binoculars. Uh, and I've also got a hunting scope in my bag as well. So I, I very rarely take binoculars, even if I didn't have those things, because if I've got a scope that allows me to shoot at range, then I'll use the scope to overwatch, and then I can shoot if I want. But 
If I can't, uh, if I can't take a shot from 600 meters away, I don't Shout see the point in seeing the players. Intellectual blessing enabling the gifted to contemptuously address mortals. <laughs> Research has linked sarcasm with increased creative flow. <laughs> Thus, it is okay not to be liked, as not everyone has impeccable taste. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> and there was my mum's always told me that like, sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. To which I've always felt, well, that's all I've got, mum. It's all I've got. That and double entendre. That's all I've got. Don't take it away from me, mum. <laughs> uh, I don't think that was copy and pasted, Vasily. That head tea ball doesn't do such a thing. He just talks so eloquently, it looks like it's copy and pasted. <laughs> uh, Head T-Ball, dude, thank you very much for the support. Ish, Ish Mac, uh, thank you very much for the support as well. Thank you very much for the bits. Cheers for checking out the video. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Vasily and Call Me Grimbo, thank you both of you for the bits as well. You ever punch your monitor after being killed by a uh, Giga Brain Flanker? Head down to PC Specialist and get yourself a quality monitor. <laughs> and a PC to go with it. Uh, Vasily, thank you very much as well. Th cheers for the support, guys. You're all very kind. Thank you. Uh, Gage Miller, we have talked about it a little bit. What are your thoughts on the Moon Swatch collab with, between Amiga and Swatch? I think they're kind of cool at £200. We have talked about it a bit, by the way. I think I said that, but... Yeah, I think they're kind of cool at 200 quid. And if people want a Moon Watch, but they don't have the crazy five grand required for a Moon Watch... Then it's a way to get into a moon watch, isn't it? It's, it's a nice looking thing. The design is timeless. Obviously, they're not anywhere near the same kind of watch, but they're, they're a lot of fun for the money, you know? But I think it's fucking staggering that people are dumb enough to be spending like 10, 15 times face value to get a plastic watch that looks like an Amiga moon watch, you know? At the price they're meant to be, I think they're great. At the flip market price, you've got to be an absolute fucking moron. G Dub, there's plenty of there's plenty of Casio G Shocks around for 200 pounds. It's not just plastic, by the way. It, it's a bit more complex than that. But they call it bioceramic, but it's basically a, a form of plastic, really. But even so, there's plenty of plastic watches that cost that kind of money. Like lots of G Shocks are made of plastic. They're still good. The technology inside is still good. The movement is still good. And this is like a quartz chronograph, but it'll have a reasonably good quartz movement in it. It's nothing like shoddy. Compared to paying, I don't know, 150 quid for an MVMT, the, the Swatch is an absolute fucking bargain, you know? An MVMT with like a, a one pound Chinese movement in it, in a one pound Chinese case. Versus something that Swatch actually made and actually designed with a movement they made and actually designed. It's, yeah. I don't blame you, Feast. I think they look alright. I, I would think about it. And it's not really my thing. I, I, if I wanted something for like the beach or whatever, and I wanted something that was like more sort of like hard wearing because it was plastic or resin or whatever, I'd wear my G-Shock. I've got two G-Shocks. One of them was my dad's. So, well, it was mine and I gave it to my dad and he wore it the last year of his life. So I'm kind of covered for, uh, for that kind of thing, you know. I've got two different 5610s, uh, Jim. I've got... The classic one, that sort of like the classic looking one with the like the red box on it. I forget the number, but both both of them are the uh, the sort of classic small rectangular shape, 5610s. They're both band six, so they set the time accurately wherever you are in the world kind of thing, you know. Uh, but one's like metallic blue face, but the same black watch. And the other one's like the classic red line one. Love that thud. I don't really need any more. What I do need is a... Oh, shit. Was there a blood bag in there? There was a red thing somewhere, wasn't there? I need the blood bag out of it. Unfortunately, I wish it was a mag for the alien gun. It's a box for the bullets for the alien gun. Where's the... There it is. Uh, if there's a... Yeah, I need that.
Pick up a bit more loot. I've definitely got the, the space. I don't want the IV set, Sir Obi-Wan. I could do, but I can't be fucked to mess around with it. My, my blood is full, so sometimes I'll, uh, I'll take my own blood and then I'll give myself a saline to, like, top it back up again, which is probably what you're suggesting, but my inventory is kind of full and I want out of that base. I just want to get out and get away as quick as I can and it's not really worth the fussing. I do sell merch bars per grade. If you do, if you type exclamation merch, there's a link to the merch store. Yeah, the red key is in the teddy bear. Funk freeze. I, I didn't say there was anything wrong with quartz. Somebody else may have done. But yeah, I, I, I quite... I, 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 I can see the allure of even like an oyster quartz or some of the high-end Grand Seiko ones as well. There's, there's a, some interest in them for me, but yeah. I found the blue key in a car. Like No, it was actually... A, it was a, it wasn't it a red key? I can't remember. Maybe it was a blue key, but... I found a key, and it was uh, in a car, like, right northeast of the map, miles away from anywhere. I've already got a starter kit, Jay Cotter. I did pick up both. Uh, I'm going to have to do something about my inventory. Top of the Moon Swatches are released. They're only sold in boutiques right now, so you can't buy them on the Swatch website. You can only buy them in boutiques, and when they get stocked, they get queues around the corner and people fighting out the front of the store. That's the bit of it that's pathetic. Like, they had to close the boutique on Saturday, I believe, in Leicester. Sorry, Leicester in London. Leicester Square, I think. I don't know where it is, but in London, anyway. The boutique had to shut on Saturday, temporarily, because people were fighting. Uh, what are those blue containers and the thing with the box? It's uh, Octopus Spunk, otherwise known as rounds for the singularity cannon that this server has. It's like a bespoke thing on this server. So Banoff has like an alien weapon, and they're the that there's there's just more bullets in there. There's there, that's five bullets, and in there there's five stacks of five bullets. I know, Eddie, it's not even limited. They're, they're, apparently they plan to make millions. I was talking to some dude on Saturday in a in a watch shop. Right? Well, I know his name, but I don't want to put his name. Anyway, I was talking to someone in a shop the other day. He was saying exactly that. They've said they intend to make millions of them, but they've obviously only got their first run now. So people are like, like going mad to try and buy, try and buy this thing, and there's literally going to be millions of them. So imagine it's like being desperate to buy the first one off an assembly line. And there's going to be another million thereafter, you know. I, know, I, might, I might get one. I, I quite like a couple of them. I don't mind the blue one. I think uh, the blue one's Neptune, probably. I don't know. I quite like the blue one. I, like, I quite like the sun one. The yellow one's quite nice as well. And I like one of the, the black one with like a grey... The, the kind of one that looks a bit more like a Moonwatch, but with a, gr a grey dial rather than just like the normal Moonwatch looking one. I should be checking sheds and outhouses, you're right. I could be finding them there for sure. Sheds and outhouses and cars. I've got so much stuff that I can't see all the stuff that I've got to decide what to drop. <coughs> Did I drop the torch? No, I've still got the torch. Let's let's keep that. Get that gone then. Would I get a skeleton watch then? Depends what it is, Jim. 
I don't particularly like skeleton dials. I'm not a big fan. I, I think they look a bit busy and they make them really hard to read. But some of them look lovely, you know. I, I don't really like the Royal Oak and I'm never going to be a customer because they're so much money. But I quite like one of the skeleton dial Royal Oaks. I think it looks good. I, I wouldn't buy it even if I was a billionaire though because I, I think it makes it harder to read and I think it's important they're still able to be used, you know. Some of the, the Vacheron have just released some, uh, I think today, some more uh, Skeleton Dial Overseas Perpetuals. They look fucking amazing, but again, I'd have to be a fucking billionaire, and even then I wouldn't get one. Dave Desky, Moon Rock, which one? If you mean the Moon Swatch, they're 200 pounds, dude. The Moon Swatch isn't very bad value at all, really, at, at its base price, you know? It's it's like in the bracket of how much Swatch watches cost. So Twitch a lot, yeah. Good luck. I'm having a bit of trouble aiming and shooting. Not because of my bad aim, but because I've got no fucking stamina. <laughs> No, let, let's let's just drop a bot, drop a stack, and just have it a full stack of 20. DJs, we talked about the reasons why some people like watches earlier, but it's not just about telling the time, although it's part of it, obviously. Hemi saying, I, I'm looking for it. Got, going to use the pewter for kids' games, photo editing, and Daisy. A 3070 Ti is absolutely stunning. If you want to play like 1440 or above, something like that would be great, surely. But if you're looking to play at 1080, then you probably don't need a 3070 Ti. But if you can get one and the value's right, then any of the, the current graphics cards of 3060 and above, they'll all play Daisy and probably all play it at 1440, to be fair. I don't know, there's just something, I, a lot of people, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I, I have a phone to tell the watch, and I completely respect that, I get that, but there's still a lot of younger dudes that are going out wearing, like, old school wristwatches, more so than you might think, you know, like, as part of their, like, it's why companies like MVAT and that Vincero, or Vincero, or whatever, are doing so well, because people are, like, dressing up for a night out and wearing a watch that goes with their outfit or whatever, you know, and having, like, maybe five or six of them or something, you know. Some people really kind of are into it, you know, I think it's kind of cool, but whatever you like is what you like, you know. <laughs> yeah, not all of it is factual, though. Uh, Arsene Hillis, or however I meant to say your name, but yeah, sorry, I'm not great at reading and reading and talking. That's why I'm a Twitch streamer. I don't like not wearing a watch. I don't like it at all. For me, putting on a watch in the morning is the same as like putting on socks or putting on pants. Or, to be fair, not every day do I put on socks or pants, but every day I put on a watch, so it's not quite true. Yeah, Roman Shaft's all right. He's, he's all right. I don't watch a lot of YouTube stuff anymore. I've gone off and the problem with YouTube is it's a, it's a bit like Twitch streams. It's obviously opinion, but once you really get into a subject, like say say same with computers, once you really get into a subject. You tend to feel like you're comfortable having your own opinions and not needing anybody else's, you know? I don't need Roman Shaft to tell me what watch is good, do you know what I mean? I, he is a cool dude, by the way, but most of the videos are like, I, I really hate this watch, Rolex are so annoying. It's just, it gets a bit grating. Uh, chicken soup, I, I don't talk about my own individual watches. I do I own some, I'm very proud of some of the ones, well, all of the ones I own, but... I, I'm not a watch channel, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer. It, if I get a new PC and it's got a 3090 Ti in it, I'll tell you, because it's relevant to what I do, but 
the watch stuff is kind of more for me, you know. I like if I'm going down the pub, I don't wear a really, really fancy watch if I owned one, which I do, I suppose. I, I, wear, I, I don't want to show off and then get mugged, you know. I'd, I'd rather not. I'd, I wear them for me, same as I don't want to go on about them here. Talking about the subject I'm passionate about, but talking about my own stuff, that's for me. What's with the balloon logo on it? PT, I don't know if the alert, the alert will work. There's a balloon in a few things. So we have a balloon emote, which I've had. That was one of the very first four emotes, the balloon emote. I did Funk Freeze. I'll, more about that in a minute. There's the balloon emote. Thank you, Andy. Uh, it's to do with a story I, I told on stream about chasing after people at the Northwest Airfield. Or I got killed and I was talking about how I'm always chasing after players. For like hours afterwards, I'm still trying to think where they might go and try and get my revenge. And I related it to a story I told about when I was a kid and I went to this fair about 15 miles away from where I live and I got a helium balloon and I accidentally let it go and it went floating off into the sp into the sky. But when I got home, like 40 minutes drive later, I was still looking up in the sky trying to find where my balloon was. <laughs> I related it to a story along those lines. Well, Mitch, that's okay. You're not wrong. There is a Twitch highlight of it. I think Gravy had to redo it, though, because it's a bit broken. It's like a highlight from eight years ago. I like I like all watches, Mitch, by the way. It doesn't they don't have to be expensive, you know. I, my uh, my dad's Raymond Raymond Well Wheel, I can't even say it. My dad's Raymond Well and my my dad what was mine and then was his G Shock are the two most important watches to me and they're not very expensive. And the Raymond Well one's probably about four hundred and five hundred pounds, so it is quite expensive actually, to be fair, that one. But they're not what you'd call luxury watches or anything really, and they're the most important ones to me, for sure. I've never tried snus. No, I, I only ever had the. I only ever had the snares. Fuck's sake! He's gonna kill me. Five hundred pound watch is entry level, thug. But with regards to luxury watch, it is yeah. Get up! Lost my fucking suppressed pistol again. Plate carrier has done some work for me today, hasn't it?
Was that the red house or the green house? It was the green house, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the green house. This isn't as good of a plate position as I thought it was. So it sounded very loud. He was close to me, right? What What's probably got me saved there is that he's fired and then had to reposition and worry about zombies. glad that we picked up the morphines and the epinephrines off of the dude though that that's kind of cool i think if we hadn't we could be in proper proper shit right now the jacket's still ruined from the previous fight Pent up, takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Oh, yes. I can't believe we've been shot unconscious by another player in the next town south. Saved by the plate carrier. Again. I have a funny feeling he's going to end up in that, uh, piano house at some point.
Yeah, they don't know where I am this time. I would imagine they, they were having, uh, or they or he, was probably having to deal with Zeds while I was on con. And they probably thought I was dead as well. This is happening a lot, but he's shooting me with an incredibly powerful round. Look what you'll see me do, and you, I did it with that guy in the last firefight. I put a shot, and then if his animation doesn't change, I put another shot in again, because sometimes a plate carrier player doesn't die even with two hits to them, like one and then they're down, and you hit them again, they're still not dead, you know, like... It's much safer to put two hits in. He could be doing anything. He could be doing anything at all. It doesn't really matter what he's doing now. He's probably still sitting around the same place he shot me at, waiting for waiting to see me, thinking I've gone in a house, thinking I'm in that house. If he's not seen where I've gone, he probably thinks I've gone in that house, to be honest. Uh, like, when I was on con, I was formulating a plan. Like, I knew which direction he shot me from, right? So, I was like, get down, get below the corrugated fence, take your EpiPens, and then run the fuck away, you know? Uh, he, he probably assume that I'll go in the house. He probably thinks I'm in there right now, you know, so... Uh, he's probably overwatching and, and waiting... And thinking about what to do, kind of thing, you know, like... Probably from a window in a house that overlooks that greenhouse. Somewhere over there. So whatever he's doing and wherever he is, what, even if he is thinking maybe he's going south, I'll go and check out that way, or he's going north. Sooner or later he's going to think, fuck this, he's not anywhere, I'm going to go and check around that house. He's, he must be fully geared, he's probably thinking I'll go and throw a grenade into that house, you know? Well, I'm going to wait until I can run. So as soon as I'm white health, I'm going to come out of here. But I'm going to stay overwatching and doing what I'm doing for now. And when I'm white health, I'll, I'll start thinking about moving. You have to think he didn't see me get up and go. If he did, he wouldn't have uh, he would have been firing, wouldn't he? You know, I don't think he'd got close enough because, again, if he did, he would have killed me when I woke up. So he shot me from, let's say, about 80, 100 metres. And between me and him is the town, or most of the town, because he's maybe on the edge of it. And, and when he fires, he's going to aggro the Zeds, and so he's got to deal with the Zeds and close the gap to me. And so now he doesn't know where I am. It's like starting from scratch, basically. Except for I'm half health and he's not. It's time to start running! Davey, dude, thank you very much for the resub. Cheers for the eight months, man. Thank you. The recoil seems insane on this. It's because of the type of scope it is. It's, it has more zoom than the PU. The recoil just seems mad. Uh, pent up, Davy. Thanks a lot for the support, guys. Why do I think it cut? I don't think he was in a house. Almost certainly, I think he probably fired, and then he doesn't know I'm on my own. He might think there's another player. He might think that he might not know for sure I'm on my own. Almost certainly, he didn't finish me off because he either, what most likely, thought I was dead for one, 
and then was trying to get close to me and then had to deal with zombies. But it didn't sound, yeah, like we're coming back to the shot. My first instinct was that the shot was outdoors. Like he was just on the far hill or he was just like on the outside somewhere. But when someone fires a shot inside, it has more of an echo. Like it's, it's kind of slightly different. This, the way the gunshot sounds is noticeably different, right? So my guess is he fired that from outside. And if he fired from outside, he's then got to worry about his own situation. He's anchoring Zeds, he's got to move, you know, so... Like, what I'll do is, I'll risk a zombie hit or two to make sure the other dude's finished off. But he might have already thought I was dead, and so he didn't bother risking anything. He just tried to, uh, tried to sort the Zeds out, and then he's turned back and realised I'm not there anymore. But the more health I can get back now, the easier it'll be. Trying to find this guy, we could end up in some kind of, like, 50-50, like... 20 meters away from each other's spray and if I'm yellow I can't win that so easily but if I can wait until at least I'm white I can tank at least one bullet and I can't tank the bullet he just fired but whatever his secondary is I can probably tank that this is a modded scope on the Mosin it's a scorpion sorry it's spectre scope it's called uh, on some modded servers you can get a Mosin mount that allows you to take allows it to take some more telescopic scopes like this one It's a really nice scope, this. The dot's nice and the zoom is nice. The problem is that it's just... I prefer the regular Mosin PU. If I had a regular Mosin PU, I'd use that and not this. Because it zooms in a bit too much for my liking. It's like having a hunting scope that only zooms in. Like, this isn't isn't far enough kind of thing. It's alright for really CQB stuff, I suppose. But that, it's so zoomed in that, that the... Uh, the, the, the range... That's not the range. The sway is just kind of like mad. I think this is this is one and a half times, and this is six times, and I'd rather it was like four times, you know, like like the PU is roughly. I am surprised we've not seen him flanking around. He may have heard me. I am getting a bit impatient now. I want to leave, but I can't yet. I've got to wait until I'm white healthy. It shouldn't be very much longer, though. Two or three minutes with any luck, maybe a little bit more. But as soon as I'm white, I'm, I'm going to start moving. Well, it says on the on the packet, if you will, of the, the scope, when you when you check its details, I think it says one and a half to six times when you click it.
It's possibly he's just knobbed it off and decided to uh, decided to go for the heli, which we might go and do in a minute. I think he actually fired at me from about where I am now. I'm not a bit far left. It was slight it wasn't dead this way. It was it was to me it was slightly this way. Like as I was standing out the door, it didn't sound dead in front, it sounded slightly right, which is what I am from that doorway where I was. He could be on that blue thing there, I guess. I don't is that possible? I think he may have just given up. Maybe. I think we might go for that heli. I don't think he's here. Oh well. I guess we won't find out. I'm not going to go AFK, guys. I've just played a couple of adverts, but the server will be down for a minute and then it'll be back up, so we'll just go and look for the heli. Certainly had them worse timing than that, but yeah, I've had them better as well. Vegas, thank you for the 13 months. Carlos, thank you for the bits. Very kind. Davey Goff, thank you for the 8 months. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. It's time to start... Bob, uh, so Bob McDeath, thank you very much for the resub. Michael, thank you for the resub as well. You're very kind, guys. Thank you. It's time to start running! Wildcats, very cool. Congratulations. Come on down. <laughs> Uh, thank you, T Bucks. Yeah, it's been fun, hasn't it? We've certainly been by the skin of our teeth a little bit, haven't we? Like this plate carrier, certainly. Uh, I owe it a little bit of a debt, don't I? I'm going to go and look for the helicopter. It was to the northeast. Let's go for that. Oh, do you know what? I need that. I'm going to get the pistol. This could get me killed. Going back for the pistol could get me killed, couldn't it? I'm getting a hell of a, like, wicked frame drop. Oh, please tell me I don't have to jump that fucking fence. I, I, he was over there somewhere. He was. It, he may have been slightly further right than I thought. He was no way on the big tower. The shot was too loud for him to be that far away.
we heard the shot before I went unconscious, right? I if he was on the big tower, I would have gone unconscious before we heard the shot. That makes sense. Because you don't hear the gunshot firing if he's that far away. You'd I'd already be hitting on the ground. He might have gone for this heli too and just expect, accepted that I've escaped, you know. He may well have done. I don't think so, Magnet. I think he was just waiting for me knowing I was in the house. I think he already knew. Like, you might be right, but I suspect not. I, I think it, it was, all I was doing was aiming at a zombie. I suspect he wasn't, like, self-defensive. I think he was probably waiting, aiming at the door for me to open it. Uh, it's more likely that, because I'd already fired a few zombies, and that's kind of near the south entrance of the town, so he was probably just coming in from the south, heard the suppressor, or heard the bullet snaps, and then started aiming, you know? Yeah, TNT, we heard the crash while I was in a house waiting for uh, my health to come back. I heard the heli crash, so I, I scoped it and it was towards the northeast, so it's actually a bit more north than that. It's somewhere this way. Someone's just grenaded. He's probably grenaded the house thinking I'm still in it. I'm so slow stamina-wise, I'm not running back trying to find him now. I think it's utterly pointless. We'll just carry on and look for the heli. So I think he'd just thrown a grenade to try and get me. That's what I think that, what, that sound was. I think it's the other side of the trees over there somewhere. In a way it's kind of a shame that the server restart happened, because I reckon I would have waited around a little bit longer, but because the restart had happened I was like, oh fuck it, he's probably moved on. Helicopters remain after the restart. Yes, they do. We were at one the other day and it was still there after the restart, so yeah. <clears throat> if I don't see it soon, I'm going to turn right and, and carry on south. Just Jack, good chat. We haven't done the, the PC uh, specialist plug today yet. So guys, exclamation PC. If you get the chance, please have a look at what they do. It's a track link, so it show, proves to my sponsor that I'm sharing their stuffs. But have a look if you can. Uh, and equally, if you want to buy a PC and you're in Europe, they only sell to Europe, use the code TRMZ for a little bit of money off. Uncle, I think there's there's a few different sounds you can hear, but they also get fainter as well, don't they? So that one sounded fairly far away. That much I do know. Devi, more loot would actually give me better stamina. I'm at that point now where if I carried up carried one other big thing and made my stamina lower, I'd actually be able to travel quicker. been talking about that a bit lately, but when your stamina bar is so low, it recharges so quickly that you can almost run, stop, run, stop, run, stop forever. So there. 
I think it's closer than it looks there. I think it's in that field. Slow bunny, I don't know. I think uh, European companies selling parts like that to America is not very easy. They'd probably have to have a partner or another company in America because the import tax and the duties and such like make it really hard to do. You'd be better off buying the parts and building them in America. So they'd have to get like an American outlet, you know, so... They, they started as a UK based company up north and they've gradually spread through the UK and now they're they're kind of moving into Europe over the last few years I believe but they're like to spread into like worldwide you have to have like a hub somewhere in America you know I actually thought it was going to be in this gap here it must be further away bugger must be at the top of the hill. One of the issues, and partly it's because of the... Like, if I had more uh, five, 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 four, five, I'd drop the SKS and it would save me a bit of stamina, but I don't really want to drop the AKS-74U because I'd rather use it as a secondary than the SKS, but if I had a bit more 545, like two mags worth maybe, I could drop the SK, right? But... I don't, so I can't. I thought that was... I saw the wisps of the smoke. I thought it was closer than this, but... Christ, we're back by rabbit. We might see that guy, you know. He's probably going to go north after he's given up looking for me. He's probably going to go there. We could maybe just head south close to the road and keep an eye out. We might see him. Favourite gun, without, shout, without a shadow of a doubt, over the years has been the Blaze. It's not as good now, but it's still very good. Uh, the Blaze has always been my favourite gun. Uh, probably not now, maybe, but definitely through history of the game is. Favourite adventure is a tie between a load. It's hard to pick between, like, Trumpet Brothers, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, old school adventures, uh, Shoal video. Sorry, not the Shoal, the, uh, the... What's the one... Yeah, the show. It is the show. The show video. And there's several others too. Even an early one with Hollis. In 2014. That was really cool. SVD mag, haven't I? Can I have an SVD mag? Yes. Slight problem. I don't have a fucking. I, I don't have the adapter to put this on the. Uh, I've got to use this scope. I fucking hate this scope. 
Oh god, that sucks. I can use that scope on it that's on the Mosin, but not now. Yeah, I need the AK rail for it to fit the the, the SVD. Yeah, I don't know why I'm ejecting these because I'm going to drop the. So my plan right now is to keep that trash can scope and maybe use it, but I'm going to use the SVD as my SKS. And so the SKS was my sort of mid-range gun, iron sighted only. We'll do the same thing. And keep the Mosin tooth. Only for now. Long term aim or mid term aim is to get rid of the get rid of the Mosin as well. Short term aim if I can get a fucking mag. I feel like he might come looking for the heli himself, but I don't know. You can put a proper suppressor on the SVD, but it takes the AK suppressor, the one that goes on the AKM. You know what, I've come all the way around here, I'm going to go back that way. If I go down there, I'm going to end up right by the tents, and I don't want to do that. Or well, at least not, not on the road, anyway. It changes depending on what you're carrying, did you block? The more you've got, the heavier you sound, like... Certain things have a clinking noise, and if you're wearing a ghillie or you're not, different things make slightly different noises, yeah. Oh, no V-Bandits, Justin. That, that guy was cool. Never fail to entertain after seven years. I still find watching you play and chat an experience. I'm happy to be a part. Keep on running. Love you. Bye. Ah, oh, crispy. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you for the resub, dude. Thank you. Uh, like close. Nico, thank you for the 28 months as well. To the only Twitch streamer that I sub to. Love all the streams and YouTube videos. Might sound silly, but they got me through some hard times. Heart always keep running. Red heart, red heart. Ah, thank you very much, dude. Cheers for the kind words. Thank you for the resub. Dead Gamer Mike, thank you for the bits. If I've missed your alerts, by the way, guys, apologies. I am very grateful. I'm doing my best, but people keep fucking knocking me unconscious and then I spend the next half an hour shitting my pants. This base is too well designed, if you ask me. The trees, the trees, there's too many trees. It feels like there's lots and lots of easy overwatch spots for it and there just isn't any. Ape Simpson, thanks for checking out the vid, dude. Yeah, that was a fun run. I really, really enjoyed it. That was cool. Feels like forever ago that run, and it was only uh, it was only about eight days ago. So 
So I think the guy that tried to kill me, there's, there's more than an average chance he's coming north. I remember leaving an SVD mag here, dude, but I've got one anyway. I'm alright with one for now. It's weird how the bullet situation changes depending on what your gun you've got. If you've got an Amosin, a Mosin and 30 bullets, you feel like you've got bullets for the rest of your character, right? If you've got a Mosin, sorry, an SVD and 30 bullets, you feel like you've not got enough bullets. Because it's semi-automatic and you can very quickly fire 10, like it might dig you out at close range or whatever, like... 30 bullets for an SVD feels like, I don't know, about 6 bullets for a Mosin. Ying Yang, you think there was an, a PSO one site in the Civ Barrett? I'll check, dude. And you won't even get a shame, shame, shame emote that I don't have, because I feel like I've seen one fairly recently, but I just couldn't remember where it was. Well, there's only one building here. The uh, all the rest are tents. So I'll quickly, you, like you said, the Civ Barracks. I'll check that. I think it's a good shout, dude, because like you said, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing one too. You do get scopes and stuff in these. I think it might have been in the back of a, a, a yellow tent. I'm a bit worried I'm dead. I'm getting killed here, fucking around trying to find this thing. But I think I, I think it's the right thing to do because I think I've seen one as well. I really do. Like at the back on one of the shelves here, I thought I saw one, but it could have been like a week ago with the way my brain works. I'm looking for a PSO-1 scope. I'm not going to sweat about looking too thoroughly because I think I'm going to get killed by the other dude if I take too long. <laughs> fucking hell, I've still got it. Where the fuck are you going? I've got pants. I got the pants when I was here before.
Oh, it's the bad one, but it's still a lot better. I'm going to go with that. Um, it may well be something I'll regret, but I'm going to go with it. I think that was worth it. It's, I, I, the reality is, my stamina bar is still pathetically low. But it's given me a little bit more back. I meant to pick the grenade up. I'm not going back for a grenade. Fuck that. It'll be alright. I did mean to pick the grenade up. I saw it. It was the, like, the, the round American green one, wasn't it? The darker one. The better grenade is what it was. I, I logged it, and then I saw the other one. I was like... Hello, Fragger. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. And Uncle Buck, and you're always here watching now. Take take my bits and let's see your tits. <laughs> moves, dude. Moves. Uncle Buck, thank you very, very much. Hello, Frags. Thank you very much as well. Happy 11th month in less than three. Keep it up, mate. Smiley face. And Alexa's revenge. Loving it here. Thank you very much for the support as well, dude. Very kind. I'd be, I don't think he's still here, that guy. I, I think he's been a... To be fair, actually, he could still be there if he's looting the entire town looking for a key or something like that. He might be looking for a key, mightn't he? But... I've seen him. I've fucking seen him. I'm sure that's probably him. I, I, it, well, my other view was better. He went in the shed. He's probably looking for a key.
I feel like the other dude had lighter clothes on. I'm a bit worried there might be another. See, if there is another, it's the one that went behind the wall and went that way. So I think he'll flank around, go to the north side, go to the north wall, sorry, north road, come around from behind where I shot his buddy dead, and then uh, probably end up trying to flank around behind that hill there as well. Here's a fairly light top, actually. I don't know if it might be the same dude or not. I think the guy on the road has got a Mosin. One of these two is probably the one that, that killed me, but I don't know if there's another or not. So he came this way and I think he went around there and I think he will have flanked. It, it could be the same dude. It really could be the same dude. <clears throat> I didn't really get a solidly good look at both of them to be sure. Clearing this with a fucking SVD, that much I do know.
remember which bush this other dude was in now. He's there. Mosin as well, AK-74, big one. Oh, okay. He's going to have bullets for me as well, isn't he? <gasps> oh my god, he's got the blue key and the red key. Fuck. Right, we've got to go north now and try and get the magazines. I lost my pistol. No, I got the pistol. It's okay. God, that is so fucking cool. Holy shit. <laughs> that is badass. So I'm pretty sure we've got revenge on two people today alone that knocked me unconscious. That is next level. Oh, fucking hell. Why take the short rifle? Which one do you mean? Do you mean this, this one? Why take this? Because it's a really good CQB weapon. He had lots of Mosin rounds, did he? Uh, how many have I got? 27, 40, ah, oh, fuck it, I've got enough. We've got enough, I'm not going back. If I go back, I'm going to die, and I've got so much stuff in my inventory. The most exciting thing he had is... Uh, the most exciting thing he had is uh, the blue key. That's the thing we really wanted. There was another... All sorts of stuff on him. Unless there was an AK suppressor, I might have wanted that, but there wouldn't have been. I'm okay. We've got the most important things. I'm kind of happy enough with what we have. Holy shitting fuck. Jesus Christ. There was another pistol suppressor on him, on a Deagle, for sure. But I've got a new one there. That's actually only damaged. You know what? We oh well. Let's just lose. We'll use that one. This one has the feel of an uh, like a YouTube unedited upload, doesn't it? It really does. The way it's gone. It's been such a good run. Uh, I don't know. I've got an unedited video of me trying to get the alien gun and failing. Maybe today's video could be an unedited video, or today's unedited could be trying to get the alien gun and succeeding. You never know. Now, now, A crew, I ain't falling for that. Davey, I've done shitloads of editing lately, young man. I'm going to be editing an Epic Moments video tomorrow, but it's whether this gets that, some of the stuff from here. I, the thing is, today, there's like three Epic Moments, you know. I could make a video just from today. We got a three-man team kill where I got two of them with a crossbow uh, and then the third one with one of the guy's shotguns. After that, we've got knocked unconscious in the town up there and then woken up and managed to kill both of them. Uh, little did I know I'd be coming back for this. That was epic. Holy shit, that was cool. I, I can't believe we've done it twice, you know, like knocked unconscious, absolutely banged to rights, and then woken up and killed a two-man team twice on the same life.
<laughs> Topper. I've got all the NBC stuff full suit. I'm wearing the gloves. I've got everything else. I brought the uh, the trip wire because I thought it would be good for uh, when we get to the the where you'd need the NBC suit. I thought we could uh, maybe leave a trip wire trap somewhere as a means to not get killed while we're down there or not get camped. Maybe. The trouble is, I guess, where it's metal floors down there, I probably can't drop it. Jacob, yeah, always double double tap. I can't remember what rule it was in zombie uh, zombie land, but it's definitely the case. Fucking hell, I've been on seven hours. I thought I'd been on about three hours. <laughs> well, I know I went for a wee when I was on four hours, but I didn't think we'd been on that long. That's kind of annoying. Well, it's not annoying, but I've got plenty of time right now. But, like, it's going to be really hard for me to get the mags and then get all the way down south and get the gun as well. So it's modded on this server that you can... Oh, is the belt ruined? No. Oh, please tell me I've not just dropped that. Oh, it's on the backpack. That's okay. Yeah, it's modded to allow you to collect rainwater. You can't do it on vanilla. Can you drink any rainwater? Not safely, no. If, if you get rainwater, like in this case you get rainwater, but if you get stream water or something... You need to pop a chlorine tablet in it to allow it to be drinkable. However, if you've got uh, vitamin pills like I have, then you can take a vitamin and that should make you immune to being ill when you drink. And if you do happen to get ill, because I don't think it's 100% guaranteed, but if you do happen to get ill, you can then use the vitamins to cure you as well. So either way, you've got the prevention. If that doesn't work, you've got the cure. So If you drink dirty water, you get cholera, and cholera makes you thick and... Rick, it makes you throw up and dehydrated, so you you're kind of wise to try and avoid that if you can. I think you should be able to do it, Uncle Food, but with uh, with a little bit of a like uh, like something <coughs> else, make like maybe uh, making a funnel or $5. making you some kind of catching device, you know. More than three kappa. Oh, and yeah, my aim's been a little bit iffy today, but what's new, you know? The nice thing with DayZ, it's mostly about choices and about positioning and flanking and whatnot, you know? Not just about... Like, I, and I think that comes with age as well, to be fair, when you have to... Not always don't make good choices, but I kind of have to make good choices and position myself well, because my aim ain't going to be as good as it was when I was 24, you know? Like, 14 years ago. Obviously, when I was 24, my reactions were better than now, since I've been 38 for six years. Less than three. My aim is still good on some days. <laughs> I just blow real hot and cold, but it's okay, you know. Uh, Zumafau, thank you very much for the five months. Erwin, thank you for the tip, dude. Thank you. We're all infected. Thank you for the bits. That's very kind. You think you're excited? Feel these nipples. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Stop doubting your aim. I, I don't. I, I don't think it does me any harm to doubt my aim. It makes me think a bit more. I think that's not a bad thing. 
But yeah, thanks for the resub. I could do with being a bit more confident. You know, nobody hits every shot, not even Shroud. But, I, like, my aim isn't quite as good as Topes or Shrouds or, like, Smokes or whatever. But it's not... It's, it's close enough that I can get I can get there, you know? But yeah, well, I'm doing it all right. Dark Walker, that's a, that's a box of bullets for the Singularity Cannon. Do I remember who my first real collab is, was with? Well, my first collab was probably on YouTube, uh, and that would have been... I played with Erno when he was called Willy Stroker, when I'd barely made a YouTube video. So Erno was probably my first collab, believe it or not. Uh, on YouTube, I played with him. His, his YouTube channel used to be called Willy Stroker. <laughs> and uh, I played with him when I had probably less than 100 subs on YouTube. Willy, uh, yeah, I think he spelt it W-I-L-L-Y, though. Funnily enough, at the time, I told him he should change his name because he could never make it with a, with a, with a name like that. I'm pretty sure I remember years and years ago saying, look, if, you, if you're going to make videos and you're going to have a go, you're going to have to change your name. <laughs> years and years ago. We, we didn't play together loads, though, but we knew each other a little bit. I played with him a few times, you know. And then, I, I like, for the next X amount of years, I made a load, a load, a load of videos. And I think he had a little bit of a break, didn't do so much on YouTube. And then he kind of started back doing a bit of YouTube and a bit of Twitch. And I think he was playing with Psy Syndicate quite a lot and got Twitch partnered, which was very cool for him, you know. Fair play. I'm really struggling with my glasses today. They don't seem to be cleaning up. It's time to start running. So we just got to follow this, past the rocks, follow the track, and it takes us to where we go, where we want to go. That's fine. I'm gonna have another quick go at cleaning my glasses. Nights, I, st I still kind of do in some ways, you know. If I catch my saying it, myself saying it in the real world, I, I, I still want to kick my own ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. One sec, guys, sorry. It, my, my glasses are just not having it. I've got some glasses cleaner here, but the bottle's nearly empty, so I'm just... Oh. I've been, maybe that's why I've not died today. I can barely fucking see out of my spectacles. What are the keys used for? So, uh, there's a red key and a blue key. To the north of the map, on the northeast, there is a military base with an underground section that you need a key to open. And in the very bottom, kind of, excuse me, this is a spoiler, by the way, for those that don't want to know, but in the very bottom of that, there is a, uh, a little, like, alien-y briefcase you can open, like a storage box. Uh, and inside there is magazines for the Singularity Cannon that this server has. And then in the southeast of the map, there is another underground SID base with a very similar type of story. But in the in the storage box down there, you get the gun itself, the Singularity Cannon. So I'm heading north to use the blue key to get the uh, to get the mags, and then my plan is to head south to use the red key to get the. Uh there we go. I think I've done it. They still don't feel clean, but anyway, that'll do. Yeah, to get the gun itself. Erno is called Erno, watchful. Erno is still, he's a, he streams on Twitch. He was in the event. We killed him, actually, somehow. He's better than me at PvP. He, uh... We killed him in the the event. He was playing with Blink. It was him and, him and Blink were the ones in the room in the PvP event. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't... I can't do this. My glasses are just not clean. It's right where my fucking eyeball is. Sorry, guys. This is really annoying, but if I don't get it right, I can't... You see shit.
The cloth I'm cleaning with glasses with is fucking filthy. That's not helping. Let's try this. Wiping off your built-in crosshairs. Yeah, they were a bit skew if I've got them anyway. <laughs> Dunning, he's just getting going then, I guess. Right, so Snipe, sorry about the delay. Thank you for the resub. James Van Der Eyn? Van Der Eyn? Van Der Eyn. Uh, maybe. But, dude, thank you very much. James, thank you very much for the new sub. Trap9, thank you very much for the five months. Zumafu, thank you as well. And Erwin, cheers for the tip before that. So, Snipes, thank you again, dude. I'm really pleased with, with that little thing, though. What I really like about the ones from today is just the, the the pacing of the fights, you know, like getting knocked on con, waiting for the health to come back. And those two guys, they knocked me on con. And then I ran to a heli, came back hoping I might see them, you know. that was That's really cool. Uh, pop, pop, or pop to man. Uh, thank you very much, dude. I'm, I'm probably not pronouncing your name very well, I don't think, but yeah, thank you. I, uh, yeah, we're doing all right. If I just stream every day for the next ten days, I might get close to the all-time high sub count. You never know. I'm not doing that, by the way. I'll, I'll be editing Thursday and off on Saturday. Sir Snipes, thank you, dude. Cheers for the kind words. Tahila, thanks for checking it out. Grumpy, yeah, we just got an epic couple of kills against a two -man, the second two-man squad, so... Uh, yeah, decent run. TRMZG heart, TRMZG heart. Duck missile, believe it or not, I actually have. And this is crazy. Behind me and to the right, about two metres away from me. I've got a big box of what I bought as screen cleaners, cleaner wipes. I bought them from Amazon. But they're behind me and to the right because they're so small, they're fucking useless for cleaning screens. So I use them for cleaning my glasses. But there isn't a sachet of one on my desk and I'd forgotten that they were behind me. So rather than just fucking around for ages then, I could have just turned around and picked up one of those. There's like about 150 of them just out of arm's reach. Spudder, yeah, I'm sure you would, but my missus would probably kill me. Well, the ones I've got, I can't remember what they're called. They're in a white box with a little sort of sky blue bit on. Don't buy those because they don't clean. Unless your monitor's the size of a fucking mobile phone screen and they, they don't stay wet enough to clean your monitor. Camera in my bedroom, red line. No, it, it would be a foot cam only. Foot cam only while I'm asleep. <laughs> that looks wrong, doesn't it? The way it kind of bends up. I'm never doing a subathon anyway, but I think you already know that, Redline. They work for some streamers, and I think they can be cool for the right streamer, but they're not for me. It's time to start running. H. Paul, hi, dude. Sorry, it reads the multiple eyes as spam, so uh, it, it, she, she's not read it. Robot lady thinks you're, you're, you're H in. H. H, H, baby. Dude, thank you very much for the support. You know what? I, I really love it when people ask why the Bible, you know? I, I loves it, I does. <laughs> it, you're not alone there, dude. Lots of people in asking about it, little little, uh, little miss. It's not a Bibble. It's an ammo box with five lots of shells, five stacks of shells for the Singularity Cannon. So this is five vials of octopus spunk. And in there, there are five lots of five vials of octopus spunk. That's a whole lot of octopus spunk.
John, what do you think some streamers get a huge following when they're kind of boring and don't have much personality? What do you attribute that to? Your taste, dude. Just because you don't like them doesn't mean that they're, they're loyal. Their large following definitely does, obviously. And I know you don't mean me here. I mean in general. So I'm not, like, going, oh, poor me. Uh, it, it, it's just that you find them boring. Clearly other people don't, you know. that That's that's the simple truth of it, you know. Uh, bullets for the singularity rifle. Sniper dazzle. Sniper dazzle. Yeah, I, there's all sorts goes into it. And sometimes you, you, you might think that, but... They've been streaming for a long time, they've built up their audience, maybe they've done YouTube, but they will be offering something to those people, otherwise they wouldn't be there, you know, like... But, uh, seeing value in a stream is very subjective. What you find boring, other people might love, you know, it's just a... Like, I watch some streamers and their personality just doesn't doesn't work for me. And I don't mean DayZ, I mean in general, I'm not, like, out here dissing DayZ streamers, you know, but... Uh, you could be see, watching a streamer and their, their opinions on things, or their takes on things or what they say just feels like not like what you think at all on anything and uh it can be a turn off you know so it might it might seem boring to you but to other people it could be like they're like nodding along going fuck yeah Uh, well, thanks for sharing. Captain Blackout, happy birthday. 18 today, eh? Fucking hell. I remember my 18th birthday. It was dismal. I hope you have a better one than I did. <laughs> Rory, I, I didn't see the, the, the money talk, so you're all good. I didn't see it. I'm now going back to try and find it, but I wouldn't worry about it, whatever it was. If it was how much do you earn, then it's kind of like a... a in a lot of countries, and certainly in the UK, it's considered a bit of a rude one, but I, I ain't bothered, you're fine. I won't answer it, though. The answer is loads of money. <laughs> Not really. Loads of fucking money! Right, so this is the military base. We've just got to sidle around to the left and... Uh, actually, I kind of need to look at the map. I want to be sure where I'm at. We're at this one, I think. We've got to get here. That's the underground part. Do I park my yacht next to Conor McGregor? No, but I am think I'm considering like bidding with him. Sorry, against him to buy Chelsea Football Club. I wasn't at the one I thought I was at. Never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in buying Chelsea Football Club, and then I'm gonna install John Terry as manager and force him to sell all the players. I'm gonna have a five-year plan to take him to the conference. The only boring day C stream you've done, in my opinion, is the swim you did on Deer Isla while back rolling on the floor laughing. Rory, that's not so rude. I can kind of understand the question, by the way, dude. Yeah. The reason I can't answer that one is it's actually in it. Every Twitch partner's contract states they're not allowed to talk about it. So if you're Twitch partnered, you've signed something that says you won't talk about your revenue share. Uh, however, Twitch got leaked and everyone's money got made out. So in theory, I should... Like, they breached their side by mistake, not on purpose. It wasn't their fault, you know, but... Well, maybe it was, but I don't know. I think a former employee kind of divulged stuff. It wasn't really a hack. I think it was a former employee that kind of gave it all away. Thought I had suppressed shots. Fairfix, I don't think it is. I think you're thinking about maybe your country, but 
you can have contracts in the UK that state you're not allowed to talk to other people. There's people that last time this exact subject took come up, somebody said that in their company someone was sacked for asking about how much money everybody else is won. In the UK, it's absolutely allowed for you to have a contract that states you're not allowed to talk about your salary to colleagues. So I guess it's employment law in your country might be different to others, but I don't think that's true. Hello, Frager. I live in Suffolk in uh, in England. Twitch streamers aren't employees. You're right. We're effectively self-employed, but we still uh, sign an agreement with Twitch that we have to be bound by. But yeah, you're right. I'm not employed by Amazon or Twitch, am I? I'm a I'm self-employed and uh, have a partnership agreement with them, which is completely different anyway. Like you say. What happened to free will? I, well, I want to live in your world. I'll keep the new one. Fuck, fuck! Oh no, why, 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 why? Oh, so much pain! He wasn't camping, he w there's nowhere to camp there We're easily anyway, but yeah, it's all good. I, I just went back to drop that and it wouldn't let me put it on the stairs and I was obviously out in the open then with no gun in my hands, you know. If I'd have been stood there with a gun in my hands, I could have fucking killed the guy. But I couldn't fucking do it. So yet another day of uh, yearly, yearly but not, sorry, nearly but not quite. Oh, God. Oh, well, I really enjoyed today's run. It was fucking epic, but we actually got not as near as we did the last time. That guy is going to be like, fucking hell, this dude's a heavy, uh, heavy, heavy fucker. I don't think you can say for sure ever that he was camping it waiting for someone, Jamsy. I don't think you could ever know that. I'd, it, I'd just, I just don't know. He, he could have been around the corner. He could have been just, just turned up. He, he could have been just coming here himself. There's, there's never any way of knowing he was camping it. You can't call that for sure. If he's camping it, he'd probably shoot me as I go in it. He'd get in a position to take the shot, not have to run in blindly after me, hoping he can shoot me like that, you know? That was lucky on his part. Like, it's, you wouldn't expect me to be there with a fucking stick in my hand, would you? You know, it was really lucky. So, I, I don't think you can be sure. If he was camping, he would have killed me as I went in the door, not ran in after me like a fucking idiot, you know? Uh, Daniel, uh, the only boring day, DayZ stream you've done, in my opinion, is the swim you did on Deer Isle a while back. No, that was great fun, Daniel. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, Rom Soli, let's hope he finds all the mines. I hope he fucking dies a painful death somehow down there. I do. <laughs> uh, anyway, I thought I heard suppressed shots when I was, like, in a bush on the other side of the wall just, I don't know, five minutes ago, but yeah. Rom Soli, Daniel, thank you for the support. Paul, Tech Banana, thank you very much. The Snipes, thanks before that. I'm afraid, guys, that ends the stream. It's eight hours deep. We're eight hours in. That That's your lot. That, that's all we get. Well, seven hours, 40 minutes. So, yeah. I would have probably gone for another hour or two, but I'm dead, so I can't, right? That sucks. <laughs> I really enjoyed today's stream, though. It's been great. I, yesterday's was really painful in terms of the uh, the actual in-game stuff. It was really, really painful, but at least today we had a crackingly good run, you know. Right? I enjoyed the game. Unfortunately, we didn't get a good ending. If this happens to go to YouTube unedited, thank you for watching it to this point. I really appreciate it. You guys are insane. Thanks for checking out the vids. Uh, thank you. Uh, that's the end of the YouTube's video. I'm now just going to find someone to raid on Twitch, so there's no point staying for that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll probably end the YouTube video right now. Ish. <laughs> Love you, bye.